That's what I'm gonna need y'all to write down. So basically, obviously, the name of this video is entitled Making Money Off Your Talent. So if you saw the video that I told you to watch and I tagged you in it or whatever the case be, we see how the world economies are pretty much fucking crumbling. And, you know, these governments or people that are in charge ain't gonna tell you shit. That's first and foremost. That's first and foremost. They're not gonna tell you anything. So at the end of the day, you know, a lot of us you know pre and post COVID ain't got no fucking money. Especially if you are a musician. See the studio equipment behind you. This shit ain't cheap, bro. You know what I'm saying? It costs money. So when I you know also hear people talk about that, you know, oh uh you're supposed to be supporting a particular culture's business or whatever the case be, you know, black business or whatever the case be. So, you know, I tell my producer friends if, you know, even the people that look like you ain't got no money to support their own career by getting a track off of you, you need to leave them the fuck alone because all they're going to do is hamper your performance or whatever the case be. Pardon me, got a little glare out there. But all they're going to do is just hamper your performance. So that's first and foremost. So, you know, that's, but that's a whole nother subject as well. We'll get to that later. I, you know, I just want to stay focused on what we're supposed to be doing here as well. So to make a long story short, you know, since the inception of where is one at, you know, and, and you know, I'm trying to find where I'm going to deal with my phone, you know, since the inception of these things right here, Sally's, you know, it's off right now, but you know, Steve Jobs, rest in peace iPod, you know what I'm saying? The GOAT, you know what I'm saying? And even little dongle things like this. You know my camera right here, okay. You know, little flash drive or whatever the case be. People, or should I say consumers, have completely forgotten about the original format of how music is replicated and how it's, how it's sold and how it's played and listened to. We forgot about this, yo. You know, this is just a blank, but, you know, or mess up one or whatever. But we forgot about the CD. You know, a lot of people assume, right, just because, you know, you got these right here, that this isn't valuable anymore. You know what I mean? Which makes absolutely zero sense to me. Hold on one second. Drop, drop the CD. Drop the blank, blank. This is, a, this is a, actually what an actual CD looks like. This is the original master disc right here before it gets die pressed with the actual colors and whatever print that might be on there, you know, to do whatever little thing you need to do on it. So that's that's what the actual disc looks like, you know, when it's molded to the first original plastic. This is step one right here, getting the mold. So, uh, you know, people have forgotten about the physical format of, you know, media for the most part. And that makes absolutely no sense because, uh, let's see, we just going over here. Hold on one second. Take my uh, charger out. Swing it back over here this way. Swing it back over here. Bang. So that makes absolutely zero sense when most people, you know, for those, obviously, they got a laptop and don't really deal with desktop units no more. But for those, you know, for the most part, you can still get by a desktop 2021 joint, 2022, whatever's coming out, with a CD drive in it. So if you got these people out here saying that, you know, I'm going to leave that right there so you can see it. So if you got people out here that saying, for those that still sell, you know, like me, physical media, you know, I could take you next door to the press room where all the magic happens at. You have people or consumers out here, right, that, that'll say, you know, oh, well, you know, I don't need, you know, I don't buy CDs anymore because, you know, I got the phone or whatever, or I got an iPod, or, you know, it's in the cloud and I'm on Spotify, or whatever it is and shit, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, those companies, Spotify, YouTube, uh, iTunes, have been raping musicians for so fucking long, and nobody fucking cares, bro. No, The musician don't care, the government definitely don't give a fuck because they being lobbied by the labels to giving all this money to shut the fuck up and ain't no music laws being created to help benefit us, the person that makes this fucking music and spends all this money on the equipment or whatever the case be 
to create the soundtrack to you guys' lives that you listen to going to work, going to school, work out, you know what I mean, at the club, you know, even when you uh, watch your movies or whatever the case be, you know, you got uh, what you call a post-production where they, you know, create the music and the scores that you love in your favorite movie scenes and your TV shows and the theme songs and the jingles or commercials. That's all musicianship. So at the end of the day, if musicians aren't getting paid for their craft, hold up a minute, that's a problem. Because keep in mind, for all those that, you know, again, love the cell phone, you know, you love the iPod, you know, you, you know, that's iTunes right there behind me. You know what I mean? I, I bought some stuff from iTunes. But guess what? If I ever lose this email address, passcode, don't remember none of that, you know, something, God forbid, go wrong with the computer, knock on wood, you know what I'm saying? I'm, that music is pretty much lost forever. Or if you're on Spotify or one of these subscription services, in my opinion, you need to really stop paying them and just go ahead and get at $10 a month to the musician that you really like. If you really like a musician and all you want, you know, you're just streaming that particular person's music or whatever the case be, you know, you might as well just go ahead and get the money to them because guess what? Every time you stream, particularly as, as an example from YouTube, right? When you stream from YouTube, right, YouTube pays me the artist. Every time you listen to one of my tracks on there, a beat or whatever the case be, I'm only getting paid 0. 0.000, I think it's one more zero. I think it's like three or four zeros last time I checked. Six cent on a penny, bro. That's negative penny, fam. That's a negative penny. But I take my ass outside in the street. And sell one of these CDs or whatever the case be for a dollar, bro. So therefore, meaning, what the hell do I need YouTube for? See, the problem is, you we allowed the labels. I'm trying to figure out what my blank blank ass name. Got to show y'all the ones with the prank. You know, we allowed the labels to get rid of this. You know, I, I got vinyl records in the corner. I got a tape deck right down here. I got tapes in, in this box right here next to me. I could pull out formats. I even got a VCR in this piece, bro. You see what I'm saying? Because anything that's vinyl or tape, and it's CD sort of, sort of, depending on the type of CD, even though it's still digital, but it's still a physical piece of evidence saying that I own this shit. You see what I'm saying? When you're on a, when you're on a, excuse me, just drop the iPod. When you're on the iTunes, you don't own none of this stuff, man. Because it's all a digital platform. There's nothing tangible for you to touch in the cloud. Hello? I get people all the time. Yo, I forgot my email address. You know, uh, I lost that original phone. I don't got my stuff anymore. You know, yada, yada, I got to build my collection all over again. Ain't nobody, you know, really losing those CDs. I, you know, I get certain customers that tell me like, yo... They broke into my car, they took everything, they took my whole CD collection I bought from you. And I wind up letting them customers go in, go on, go on, go on a sh in the shop. Just take whatever you want, bro. Because that's what customer service is, you know what I mean? And I know my customers ain't gonna lie to me about nothing like that. Because I'm already pushing this damn disc already at a dollar. Like, come on, man. And I'm and I'm over here in North New Jersey. Motherfucker, the car thief capital of the world. So that's it. That's not nothing to lie about. You know what I mean? Jokers get jacked, get car jacked the whole time, and your car get broken into, whatever. And people steal shit. And a lot of times, a lot of my customers, right? A lot of times they tell me, yo, you know, I was playing, you know, I was playing that house shit. You know, we from Jersey. Or I was playing, you know, some classic, some classic shit. You know what I mean? Some classic hip hop, some classic R&B. And my, 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 my homie heard it, or my OG heard it, and they, they jacked me for the, t for the CD. So I get a lot of customers that be telling me that. So that only goes to show you that if, you know, obviously not, not the music is great on here, but if a person is taking somebody else's CD, it's because they can't get it themselves. That's how bootlegging started, man. Because poor people couldn't get what rich people had. See that shit? So basically, again, the industry has taken away the physical format, CD, tape, you know, it's not, it has nothing to do with us moving forward in a technical space. It has nothing to do with anything. Because if that was the case, all you musicians that are getting all these thousands of views, millions of views, you know what I mean? You got on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, whatever. 
and you getting all these views and people liking your shit and commenting on your shit, where's the money at? How does that translate translate into dollars? DJ Quick said it. If it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Let me repeat that. It, if it don't make dollars, it don't make sense. Go support DJ Quick and you know follow his pages or whatever. You know what I mean? So again, let's move forward. If you got a pen and piece of paper, you're going to want to start writing this down. But before we move forward, I'm going to just show y'all something. I don't even know if y'all can actually see it or not. You know what I mean? Let me try turning on the light right here. So to get some better lighting in here. I don't even know if y'all can see this or not. But uh, to make a long story short, I know it looks like a bunch of scribble scrabble. But it is for the most part. But it's from my mind. And I was cleaning up the other day. And I almost balled this shit up. And threw it in the garbage, fam. I almost balled up the blueprint that I've been working on for damn near 30 years in the trash. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I got a lot of papers around here. I got a lot of books. It's a lot of equipment around here. So shit get lost in the sauce. So basically, again, what you're looking at is the blueprint of how I was able to come up with selling CDs for a dollar and still be crazy profitable without having to even deal with the record labels. You see what I'm saying? But the problem is with you artists out here, you don't want to go do the footwork or whatever the case be. So that's that. So let's turn that off real quick because the light, that thing is bright. So put the pillow behind it. So with that being said, right, you know, I'm not sure who chiming in on the live because I'm not looking at my other phone. I'm not sure. Does this thing show me? Hold up a minute. Comments will appear here. Okay, so boom. Right, so Isaac, I see you still in there, and I'm not sure who else up in here with me, but you know, for those that may be looking at this later. So, I already, you know, talked to a couple of homies that I'm cool with, like my man Cruiser, you know what I mean? My man Anthony Harvey, you know what I mean? DJ Jai, he goes by, and you know, my man Karev and a couple other people that know what I do, CD wise, and you know, I had that conversation with him, or whatever the case be. So, basically, you know, matter of fact, I might have to turn the light, keep the light on. Obviously, even though I'm going to still talk to y'all and to explain to you what it is, I still want to physically show you because there's nothing, again, like tangible evidence to show that we actually own or can prove that we do what we do. So uh, right here, right, is another blueprint that I pretty much created. You know, again, this this blueprint, you see I got it in uh, the plastic now, like I said, I almost threw the shit out. So this blueprint was, you know, I was already selling CDs before this blueprint, you know, this is back when, and, you know, the still three for ten dollar era, you know what I mean, I ain't even gonna say two for fives yet, you know what I mean, I'm gonna say three for ten or five dollars a pop or whatever, or even seven or eight dollars, whatever it was you were selling your CDs for, so, you know, again, this is the blueprint, and I'm gonna tell you that, on how I created the dollar stuff, you know what I'm saying, or how to sell CDs for a dollar, this blueprint breaks down who's going to get paid off the dollar because now we're going to create our own shit we don't need no labels no more you know what i mean again you know shot you know rest in peace steve jobs the og you feel what i'm saying itunes all day all that shit but y'all apple's still robbing us for 30 percent off a dollar you know what i mean i ain't robbing nobody what i'm about to tell you on this shit because i'm giving it to you for free why because i don't give a fuck you know what i'm saying and it, you ain't gonna step on my toes with my customers because Isaac, you know, you all the way in South Africa. This this plan I'm telling you right here, hell yeah, I want you to do it and go blow up in South Africa and go tell the other artists, homies over there, the brothers, you know what I'm saying, that do music, yo, this is what it is, you know what I'm saying, this is what we doing and shit, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this is why I'm doing the live, Isaac, you feel what I'm saying? You ain't gotta fly here, you, we live, bro, you feel what I'm saying? Let's do the work. That's what it's called. You know what I'm saying? I done did the work, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I'm still doing the work. You know what I mean? I got another blueprint that I'll show y'all a whole nother day of how all this shit came, came to fucking be, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I almost threw that shit in the garbage, too, by the mistake, yo. Because I'll be having so many damn papers. So, again, let's start off now, right? So, 
if you got your pen and pad like I told you to get, or if you, you know, you're writing down on your pen and pad and your phone, which is fire, because I'll be writing my bars in here. I wrote some bars in here the other day that's fire, and I'm going to let you hear that shit. Shout out to my nigga Torch. You know what it is. You know what I mean? So, again, this, this, this blueprint right here is, you know, who's going to get paid off a dollar. You know, how to sell for a dollar, that's the easy part. You know what I'm saying? But, obviously, who gets paid off a dollar? And the reason why I keep emphasizing that part is because, you know, no, no, like I said, Apple behind me on, on iTunes right there. You know, shit. Steve Jobs had Steve Wozniak with him. If I got, the, if I'm Steve Jobs with the fucking blueprint, I need a Steve Wozniak. You feel what I'm saying? You know, Bill Gates had, um, can't think of the dude's name with him. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody has a team with them and a certain set of people that got a certain set of skill set. So now with that being said, if I tagged you in this video and you wind up looking at it later, obviously I tagged you not because you do music or whatever the case be, because I already know you got a certain skill set or you a hustler or you you or you uh, are somebody I might have had a conversation with about music, trying to get into it, don't know where to look or you looking, you know, you're a musician, but feel like you're ready to fucking call this shit quits because you fucking broke. Just like most of us, you know what I'm saying? Like Kanye said, we broke far broke, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's not that, no, I'm saying I'm broke. I'm just saying when you spend a lot of money on something that you love and the money doesn't come back, you see what I'm saying? When you're trying to actually make it in the actual industry that you are pu putting on for, you know what I mean? Or trying to be a professional in. It becomes, you know, a bit of a problem, you know what I'm saying? You know, like me, I I'm, I'm in debt. As far as the school loan, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got no other bills, but I'm in debt as far as the school loan. Why? I graduated from the Institute of Audio Research, New York City, class of 06. You know what I mean? And I graduated one about a year or so before the recession hit. So I never went into my field to study. So with that being said, I never paid that loan back. And Sally Mae, Fannie Mae, whoever y'all are, I don't plan to. Why? Because I just never went into that field to study. I had to switch my life all over again. So... Now that I'm still trying to do this shit, hopefully maybe y'all motherfuckers can help me out. You know what I'm saying? What alone? Because the bank ain't giving nobody nothing. So again, this is the whole argument. For us to come together musician-wise and those are our professionals to fucking crack the code and stop fucking with the people at the high ups so we could do our own thing. You know what I mean? So again, let's get started now. So again, this is the breakdown. So I'm just going to tell y'all, y'all write it down and follow, follow along. So, the title is Dollar CD Breakdown. And this basically is, you know, who's going to get paid off the, uh, you know, who's going to get paid off of each CD sold. We're selling it for a dollar now. Keep that in mind. And we're going to, you know, figure out who's getting paid first. So, and you got to apply all this shit into, like, you know, government stinking asses, like I said, because you got to pay Uncle Sam. He ain't, he ain't nobody uncle, but we oldest do every 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 year. You know what I'm saying? So you got to make sure you know what a 1099 is. I, I filed a 1099 for the first time in my life. You, you feel what I'm saying? Because I ain't get a chance to get no P, triple P money. Because not to say I was never making money off of this shit. You feel what I'm saying? It was never enough money to pay taxes on. Because everything that I made off the CD is right here behind you. You understand what I'm saying? It went back into the business. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't splurge on the bins. Like, you know, what I mean, I didn't go buy a house or whatever the case be. I didn't take a crazy ass vacation for a month and, and, and somewhere crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna cost me bread. I didn't do none of that shit. I stayed grinding, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So again, the title of this dollar CD breakdown or whatever the case be. And right under that, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, you know, just try to follow along like that. Right under that, you're going to write well, who gets paid first. Who gets paid first? Now, the question is, if, you know, you the artist out there, Isaac. I see you following. If I, if you sold me this CD for a dollar, right? So, boom, you made, you, made, you made a dollar off of me. You know what I mean? Who's the first person, if you want to write in the comments, that you have to pay first? And I kind of just gave you the answer a minute ago, but just see if you're following along, if you can remember. Let me take a sip of water. If you sold me the CD, you know, whatever blank, you know what I mean, and you made a dollar off of it, who's the first person that has to get paid? I want y'all to think about that for a minute. Uh, 
Bang. All right. Give up. The first person that gets paid is the government, a.k.a. Uncle Sam. At least here in America, Isaac. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if it's the IMF or some other motherfuckers over in South Africa. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to y'all, too, because I see what the fuck is going on over there. Don't think we ain't, us black folks over here ain't paying attention to that. So stay safe, bro. You know what I'm saying? And holler at me if you need anything, if I can help from afar. Real shit, because we got to be open with each other. You know what I mean? So, boom, right? Who gets paid first? Obviously, you got to pay your taxes first. So, hopefully you can see it. So, how I wrote it down. In the corner right here. And this is just an example. All this is, is all facts. Because I did the work for the last 10 years. But it's all an example to you. Because your tax bracket and codes is different per state, country, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? So, here in New Jersey... I wrote down seven cent, but it's really nine cent. But we just using it as an example, or nine percent rather. Excuse me, it's nine percent. But I just wrote down seven cent or seven percent that I'm going to pay New Jersey in taxes. But hold on a second. Let's back up for a second, right? What if you live in a particular zone? What they call opportunity zones or we we may know them as urban enterprise zones opportunity zone or urban enterprise zone and hold on a second i'm gonna cut this light back out kind of messing up my eyes you know what i mean so boom again we know these things as urban enterprise zones or opportunity zones is what they really call and let me uh, focus my camera back down a little bit. Bang. So that's what it is on that note. So, bang. So as again, like I said, how I wrote it, this is all just an example, y'all. You know what I mean? So across, you know, I'll put the seven cent right here. So off a dollar, that means I got 93 cent left. But again, like I said, with the opportunity zones, and just to make sure we're following along and we're going to follow along this entire video, I want you to write down right here, taxes, and put in parentheses, you know, your country or your state, and put the percentage right here, which is, you know, we know it's 9% in New Jersey. But again, I'm going to tell you the reason why I put 7 here is because I thought it was 7%. But obviously that was, you know, 7% was probably what, 10 years ago in New Jersey? It's 9% now for business taxes. And this is a business. And we're going to talk about some other paperwork too. Hopefully we have time or whatever the case be. Not even sure uh, you know how long this live is going to be able to go on. But I, I'll talk for as long as I can. Uh, so, again, you know, taxes. You know, uh, put your state and the percentage of your uh, state or country's business tax per whatever you make. So, again, you know. If you sell CD or whatever for a dollar, you know, I got to pay Jersey not 9% on a dollar. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money, though, but it is what it is. But hold on a sec. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on a second. What if we live in an urban enterprise zone, right? Or an opportunity zone, wherever it may be. It may be something totally different in South Africa, Isaac. You know what I'm saying? If you live in an urban enterprise zone like I do here in New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? I only have to pay 3.5% sales tax. See that? Just that quick. We don't cut our debt to Uncle Sam in half just by doing a little bit of research. So if you live in an opportunity zone, you know, and if you don't, you might want to move to one. You know what I mean? It may be lesser than what... Or, you know, it may not, not, may not be of the status or whatever, how you grew up and was raised or whatever, but at least try to open up some type of business there so that way you could reap the benefits of, you know, Opportunity Zone or Urban Enterprise Zone. So, you know, it, it's the same thing, you know, you just might hear it different or whatever the case be. So the other thing is, too, just to talk about it. So, boom, again, you know, I live in an Urban Enterprise Zone, right? So I only got to pay... You know, my township taxes, which would be three and a half percent. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm doing business in an urban enterprise zone or my state taxes, rather, you know, slash.
township taxes because you got to pay township taxes too because you're doing business within that town, that city. So you're going to have to pay some taxes on that too or whatever the case be. Um, you know, like I said, it's 3.5% because I'm in the urban enterprise zone or whatever the case be. So I ain't got to pay Uncle Sam that much. So if you know anything about Opportunity Zones, matter of fact, there's a uh, nice sister on Twitter named uh, Serena Harris. She's from Florida, I believe. Uh, Ados with, with up, you know, American descendants of slavery. Look her up. She speaks about Opportunity Zones. Look up Tone Talks, Antonio Moore, lawyer from California. For, you know, Ados, you know, he speaks about this stuff, the data, you know, the, the racial wealth gap, a lot of this stuff, because it's all about money at the end of the day. You know, look up Big Sister Yvette Carnell, a.k.a. Breaking Brown. You know, she talk about all these industries and these WPIs. WPI stands for White Public Institution. For those that do not know, that, you know, just own everything. And nobody else could get a part of anything. And perfect example of that is what we see what's going on in Cuba right now. See see how that, how that flows right there? The Cuban government owns all the fucking businesses, yo. <laughs> it ain't no free enterprise in Cuba. Ain't that fucked up? You know what I'm saying? So a, a regular Joe can't own no fucking bodega or no fucking clothing store. This is all government shit. And now that we're hearing, which I never knew this either, you know, for those Cubans that live here in America or wherever you live in the world, when you send money back to Cuba, I ain't know the Cuban government take that shit too. Damn, dog. So they live in another forward fucking dictatorship. But you got... With, you know, so-called senators like Marco Rubio is supposed to be Cuban, but this motherfucker got like a white supremacist mindset, bro. That's another story. Let's move on. You know what I'm saying? So, boom. Again, and just to, you know, let's recap on the first part again. Let's recap. Again, the first person that gets paid off a dollar is Uncle Sam. Pay your taxes, bro, because you don't want this motherfucker coming after your ass. And you know how they be. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, I, like I said, the first time I paid taxes in my life. I mean, as far as, as, far as like me really owing, you feel what I'm saying? Because you know, I'm a gig worker, and you know, I'm an independent contractor slash entrepreneur, and you know, I work for myself or whatever. So, you no, know, other than paying this tax for the first time on a, a, a whole nother a gig job that I'm doing with another company, uh, I think it was like $81 because of the uh, whatever tax credit Biden signed. So I only wound up being $81, but they hit me with a surcharge of like, like 52 cents or some weird shit. Like 32 cents, 52 cents. I forgot what it was. I'm not giving y'all that. You know what I'm saying? And the surcharge was because it was a late fee. But hold up a minute. I filed my taxes on time in February. My family did it. My aunt does taxes. She did my taxes for like the fifth year in a row or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Why I'm not, I mean, I am just now. And my aunt told me like, yo, you're going to get a bill in the mail. Okay, no problem. I got fucking money to pay that shit. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whatever it be. I got money in the fucking bank to pay that shit. I get the bill. What is it? July? I got it like the top of July. The first of this month. I don't owe y'all no 52 cent IRS. Y'all crazy. Y'all might as well wipe that off. But I'm going to get in contact with y'all on that anyway. Another day. You know what I'm saying? Or take it off as a credit you know, on my next bit, taxes. Whatever. Credit me, damn it. 52 cent. You know what I mean? So, Bang got to pay our taxes first and da, 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 da. okay so now boom before we even move on with the taxes i'm gonna tell you the breakdown though of why i did the seven cent let's go back to that see we stay in focus we focus so basically like i said my state tax is nine percent right but i'm only going to give the state of new jersey seven cent why because i'm going to lobby this shit that make it this way and the reason why i could legally do it it's because I live in an urban enterprise zone right there. Three and a half percent tax. Live in an urban enterprise zone. So, boom. But the reason why I said I'm going to give you seven cents on a, on a dollar is because not only go, am I going to pay my three and a half percent taxes to the whatever local town, city, state, whatever it is, business taxes. I'm going to give up another three and a half percent off of that, you know, seven cents. I'm going to give it right back to the state. So this is this is where the seven cent comes in. Hey, what's up, Cruiser? What's up, my boy? Uh, Cruiser, you already know what's up. I'm just going over the dollar CD shit. You know, if anything, run the lob back. But, you know, go get a pen and paper and get some get, get some coffee. Because Isaac treating everybody to coffee. You know what I'm saying? That hazelnut flavor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's treating everybody to coffee. You know what I mean? 
So go ahead, get you a drink, my boy. Welcome to the show. And we just going over the tax part, which I believe I went over with you all on that one, my boy. So, you know, three and a half percent we're going to give as, you know, our business taxes. Why? Because we live in an urban enterprise zone and it's legal. But we're going to give another three and a half percent to the state or whatever it is, township, whatever it is we're doing. Most likely it's going to be a township thing, the extra three and a half percent. And the reason why I'm just now thinking about this, because if you give it to the state, all they're going to do is fucking uh, put some pig marks on the shit, meaning use it for some weird ass shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ballerina classes for one year olds. Like, ain't the one year old can't even fucking barely walk. But this is the type of shit they do so they can turn around and pocket the money. And nobody's never going to question or even look into if they really opened up a school for one year old ballerinas. Ain't nobody looking at that. And how I bet I got my water right here. Ah, nigga. Ah, yeah, Poland Spring, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Poland Spring with my water. Hold up a minute. Yeah, I got you, fam. I got you, fam. Right here. You know what I'm saying? I keep, I keep cases of water on deck. Matter of fact, if y'all don't know about that water drought out in California, y'all better uh, go stack your water up because that's another thing the government, they, they some bitch ass motherfuckers, yo. They ain't even telling y'all that the reason why a lot of this water prices is going up or maybe a drought of water in your store. Costco can't keep no water. BJ's barely keep water. What the fuck is that telling you? It's a fucking drought. It's a crisis. We still in the COVID fucking state. And they talking about shutting this shit down again. So you better get prepared, y'all. And now... And that's, and that's also what I just said. That's future videos. Stay tuned. You know what I mean? So again, 3.5% sales tax we're going to give on our business. Because we live in an urban enterprise zone. And again, the bottom state tax, we're going to give that most likely to the township. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to write that down. And the reason why we're going to give it to the township, let's talk about that for a second. We're going to give it to the township or whatever type of local government. So that way we could start doing two things one advocating for politicians or council men and women that want to advocate off behalf of black people you feel what i'm saying no matter where we at in the world because we got a lot of politicians you know uh the cbc uh the, the, the uh, or you know the black caucus or whatever you want to call them you know what i mean and you know still old committees like the naacp and now you got these new dickheads blm black lives matter you know what i'm saying Black life don't matter to nobody in this motherfucking country or anywhere in the fucking world. And we already know that shit. You know what I'm saying? So don't use us as no scapegoat to try to funnel money into the Democrat fucking society. You know what I'm saying? And we see how the fuck that shit is working out for all you dumbass black folks out there that went out and voted for Biden. And Kumala, because she a sister girl. Black girl magic, hey. You know what I'm saying? She ain't hiring no black Americans yet. But she letting her people from India come over this motherfucker with them visas, man. You know what I'm saying? That's another story, though. So the reason why we're going to get this 3.5% to the infrastructure of the township or city, whatever we're doing business at, in the urban enterprise uh, opportunity zone, is because when I drive on the street, here in the bricks, Newark, the roads are fucked up, bro. The roads are fucked up. I'm fucking my shocks up on my truck. You know what the, these shocks cost? To put, not just the, the parts, what it costs. The, the labor it takes to, for somebody to put it back in. Too much money, fam, that I ain't got any damn way. You know what I'm saying? So the whole argument is also when you was going to school, I'm 41 years old. When I was going to school, I had music program, music program, music program, music program, music program. You don't see that anymore. This is why we try to have uh, or they got as you know separate programs like Yamaha, I think it's Save, Save, Save the Music Foundation, one of them programs. You know, and try to uh, keep the music in the school or whatever it's called. You need them programs, man. But those are, are actual corporations that are doing it. This is not the town or the city funding the shit like they used to off the tax dollar. See what I'm saying? This is why these kids don't know shit. They don't know nothing about no home act. Can't cook, can't clean, can't sew, can't fix a car. Don't know nothing. Because those programs that used to be in the school system, cut by the government. But... When I go to the WPI neighborhoods, aka, we ain't even going to say WPI, we just going to say when I go to the rich neighborhoods, the roads is paved, I see the schools is nice, the kids are ranking in the top whatever percent of, you know, economics, I mean, uh, collegiate scholarships and all this other stuff, and, and you know, it's got, you know they, they're, they're ranking off the charts, but if you come back to the bricks, you don't see that shit. 
So that's the reason for giving up the extra three and a half percent. So these towns can start fixing up stuff in this infrastructure. And a whole other argument for that is too. So remember, this is the United States of America. So every state is really its own country. See what I'm saying? And if that's not the case, why do each state borrow money from the feds? Right. So at the end of the day, what the fuck we need them niggas for? We could create our own shit right here, fam. And just be our own country. New Jersey need to be his own country. You know, California need to be his own country. You know what I mean? And the story on that. So let's move on. The next thing we're going to write down is uh, pretty much who gets paid next. Who's getting paid next? So, you know, at the top, just to re recap, just to recap, all day, Cruiser. Just to recap, dollar CD breakdown at the top. You know what I mean? Who gets paid? You know, who gets paid first? Obviously, you know, Uncle Sam, bitch ass. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody's uncle. But if you live in the urban enterprise zone or opportunity zone, you know, and thank you again, Cruiser, for reminding me of that. You know, it's ur ur urban enterprise, I mean, opportunity zone. You know, I'm so used to saying urban enterprise zone because, you know, you see the shit plastered in my neighborhood as such. So... You know, those are the, uh, the pretty much the recap of it. You know, who gets paid? Who gets paid first? You gotta pay your taxes, man. You don't want the fucking big dogs coming after your ass, man. Can't can't afford that. You it's too much to lose, man. So let's move on. Who who's getting paid next? So we gave seven cent off a dollar. You know, sold a bunch of CDs. You know what I'm saying? Each CD or whatever. You know what I mean? Sold it for a dollar. Pay my taxes three and a half percent because I'm in an urban enterprise and I gave up another three and a half percent to help this infrastructure around here and school programs and free lunch for the kids forever. You know what I'm saying? We could we should support that, you know what I mean? Because obviously waiting for the you know government and any other local township leadership to do it, they ain't doing it. Just because your parents make a certain amount of money don't mean you should have to pay for fucking school lunch. That's the dumbest shit in the fucking world. The government should be ashamed of themselves for even thinking some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That goes to show you they want motherfuckers to struggle. Duh. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, who gets paid next? So, again, we paid our taxes. We gave, you know, a little extra for infrastructure. The next person that gets paid next is the us, the artist. The musician, you know, the, the content creator. That's the new term now, content creator. You know what I mean? You, you shout to YouTube, I guess, for that shit. So, we get paid next, right? So, again, we already gave up. And also, as we're following along, Make sure you're doing your math. Make sure you're doing your math. Dollar goes right here at the top because I sold the CD. Seven cent goes right here. We have 93 cent left on the dollar. We're moving along. So, boom, right? Basically, out of that 93 cent left, who gets paid next? Us, the artists. And it says, you know, all pay artists, content. And I also have something over here called 50 50 splits. I'll talk about that in a second. And for those that already know what a split sheet is, you could pretty much skip that, but, you know, I got to run it down for those that don't know and will be watching this video later. And obviously for my own accord so I can improve, you know, on my own intellectual or whatever the case be to help us, you know, move along. So, uh, you know, the artists get paid next. And how much we're going to get paid? Woo, woo, 25 cent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, keep in mind, 25 cent, that's actually a lot of money, man, per CD sold. Matter of fact, let me move some of this stuff out the way. So I could better keep showing y'all the little my little props. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the movie set right now. So 25 cents is actually a lot of money for you, the artist, to make off of each unit. And keep in mind, this is a unit. We're going to sell a whole bunch of these motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> we plan on selling a billion, a trillion in one year. You know what I mean? So basically, you know, the artist gets paid and... The artist is going to get paid 25 cent. Now, when we reason why I say that's a lot of money, because when see the, at the height of CDs being sold, it didn't matter damn near if you had a record contract or not. We all saw the TLC doc, uh, um, a miniseries movie or whatever. Uh, you know, we heard, heard the nightmare stories from Tony Braxton and uh, uh. Matter of fact, Anita Baker is going crazy right now about the music industry. You know what I'm saying? How she, she won her fucking masters, man. She done slave for your fucking asses all these years. 
creating cr classical music and you know the labels reaping the benefits and the artists ain't getting shit you know what i'm saying we see artists all the time go broke just recently you know rest in peace black rob dmx we heard dmx wife ain't even gonna get his estate because he didn't even have a will so that's another thing we're gonna have to talk about and i and i gotta stay on this shit myself you know all this shit that i got and accumulated and you know what i'm doing I ain't got, you know, God forbid, knock on wood. You feel what I'm saying? I got to get on my fucking adult shit and start doing this shit because ain't nobody fucking told me. You feel what I'm saying? That, you know, you're going to have to meet your demise one fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Even though we know that, but damn, I got to have my motherfucking goddamn paperwork ready at least still. You know what I'm saying? For, for this life and the next. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get paid 25 cents because the highest an artist ever really got paid at the height of the, the CDs was the fucking highest was 10 cent and that, and that's fucking nothing bro 10 cent dog you know what i'm saying go back and watch that tlc miniseries shit they was only getting paid 10 cent per album while the, and, and look well, keep in mind there was three of them so they had to split that shit poor record so and also uh, pebbles and them they was raping them on the show money they was raping them on the clothes the merchandise the movies whatever it was tlc was doing man they was getting raped dog same thing we see, you know, artists, then I talked about Puffy. We call that, I call that the Diddy Bop effect. Repeat, I call it the Diddy Bop effect. Let me get a sip of water real quick. I call it the Diddy Bop effect. Why? Because everybody done heard a different story about how Diddy done raped they fucking, raped his artist. No homo too, by the way, because we hear weird shit about that nigga too. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like, damn, hold up a minute. Diddy, you supposed to be a black fucking man, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And you out here raping fucking black artists, yo. So, like, but hold up a minute. Diddy ain't never really been an artist. So how the fuck did he even learn this shit? And what made him or enticed him to even want to do some shit like that? You know what I'm saying? So that's all another story and shit. But at the end of the day, the artist got to get paid second. You know what I'm saying? Pay your taxes first. You know what I'm saying? Then obviously you'll get your money and whatever's left over, you know, it's all yours. So you're going to get paid a quarter. So this, you know, let me get my props again. Get my props. Matter of fact, this is my House Love DVD. House Love DVD. Sell this thing for, between, usually I try to sell it for 10. Get the most out of it. But I, I sell it for 5 if I fuck with you like that. You know what I'm saying? So I sell it for $10, right? And it got 350 house tracks on that shit. So this is how I make money. I'm a DJ. You know what I'm saying? I'm supposed to be fucking selling music. You know what I mean? So, if you wind up selling, right, a dollar is, if you sold this thing for a dollar, and you sold a million of them, right, and you got paid 25 cent per unit, how much money is that that you got paid off a million units sold? Anybody want to put it in the comments? But I'm going to still tell you anyway, you know that. Anybody want to put it in the comments? If you sold a million CDs, and you made a 25 cent per CD sold, how much is that you're benefiting? Right. That's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, yo. Quarter of a million dollars, yo. Off off a CD sold at a dollar a pop. You don't need no record label, man. You just need yourself. See what I'm saying? You just need yourself, man. You, you know, see look at that shit. DJ Sag one house love. Come on, man. You just need yourself. So if you sold a million physical CDs. And it ain't got to be CDs, by the way, you know. You know, this is the new CD to me now. That's just the way I look at it. It's pretty much the new CD, the flash drive. So if you sold a million units, no matter what the physical format was, and you sold a million units and you got 25 cents off of each unit, that's a quarter of a million dollars, man. That's more than TLC ever got paid, probably per all the albums that sold so many fucking millions, yo. So, so many. They went diamond like twice, I think, man. <laughs> and it's their own peoples that fucking raped them, dog. You know what I'm saying? People that look like the three of us here. You know what I'm saying? So that's something we got to start thinking about, too, man. You know, we ain't looking out for each other. What we doing? Tearing each other down, bro. Enough of that shit. You know what I mean? So, boom, right? Let's move on, right? 
So you got paid 25 cent off a million units. You made 250,000. That's what's up. Congratulations. And, and, and you're platinum, by the way. And, and with that being said, yeah, you are platinum because you did sell a million units for the most part, no matter how you sold it. But the RIAA, Recording Institute Association of America, they say otherwise. They say you have to sell an album, you know, CD or whatever. Keep dropping my props over here. You got to sell an album or whatever the case be. Oh, where my flash drive go? Hold on a minute. You got to sell an album for about $6.95 a unit or whatever the case be. At a million, you know, a million units sold at about six ninety five a unit. But I don't give a fuck about the RIAA's name on no fucking plaque on my wall. Fuck them. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? We, we hire our own uh, wood worker to create our own fucking plaque. I just made a quarter of a million dollars. What I need anybody for, you know what I mean? We don't need them. They're, they're, they're the problem. We, we don't get it, you know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the 50-50 splits right here. 50-50 splits, right? Now, for those that are going to be watching this live later on, most of y'all that are in the music business or understand this shit, you know what a split sheet is already. So I don't got to explain that. For, but for those that don't know, a split sheet basically is, you know, you know, Cruiser the producer and me, me, me and my man Isaac get on there and we spit some bars and shit to the beat. So being that Cruiser produced the beat, and this is the way I'm wording it. This has nothing to do with the fucking basics of the fucking music industry. We're about to unravel all this shit. You know what I mean? So this is how I'm, I'm doing it. On, on, on the split sheet side, right? So boom, Cruiser did the beat. And, you know, and Save It Answers, you know, I was the main artist on the song. But it was featuring Isaac, though, right? So Cruiser from the door is getting 50% of that split. Why? Because he did most of the fucking work. He created the beat, bro. Without no beat, ain't no fucking hip-hop, house, classic rock, none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? It don't exist without a producer or some type of engineer. You feel what I'm saying? Even a DJ could, could make beats on a turntable. I've done that a billion times. And be at somebody's fucking house, we just chilling, freestyling, playing fucking records. You feel what I'm saying? Beat juggling and this shit, making beats off of other people's records, which was nothing but you know, we ain't even look at that shit as sampling. We ain't even look at that shit as sampling. Man, we just play, play the fucking record, bro. Play the fucking, whatever the beat was, and we cutting and scratching on the shit, making our own shit. So, being that uh, Cruiser did the beat, he's going to get 50% from the door on the split. Because he's the producer. Now, being that I'm the artist on the song, that other 50% comes to me. But, again, hold on a minute. How does Isaac get paid off out of the split sheet as being a featured artist? That would have to come off my end of the 50%. You feel what I'm saying? And, and again, the 50% is a split off the 25 cent. Keep that in mind. Right here. Let me see if I can get it on the other side. Bang. Right here, the 50-50 split. If I'm the artist and uh, Isaac gets the feature and Cruiser did the beat, Cruiser gets the 50% from the door, I get the next 50%, but out of my 50%, which is only half of 25 cents. Remember, we're only selling these CDs for a dollar. That's 12 and a half cent. You know, Cruiser got paid and I got paid. But out of my 12 and a half cent or my 50% fifty percent split, I have to pay Isaac off of that. Because it was my choice to have Isaac featured on a record. You see what I'm saying? I, don't never, I, ain't, I ain't never had no knowledge of how jokers do split sheets. You feel what I'm saying? In the industry. Because I don't do records with people. I'm just a producer. <clears throat> I'm putting out beats or whatever the case be. And selling beat albums. Let me turn this fan off. And selling beat albums or whatever the case be. So I ain't thinking about none of this shit. So it's all, not to say new information to me, but I'm reworking this shit. So that way we go all fucking eat. And not just, you know, us eat here in the, in the present day. I'm talking about our fucking kids, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And they kids' kids gonna eat off of this shit. Because remember, you could renew a copyright 70 years after your passing as an artist. Remember that. You can renew a copyright. Matter of fact, hold up a minute. I think they just pushed it up too. 
I think they pushed it to 90 years now. From what the the Money Music Makeover show, homie. Uh, uh, what the hell? Casey, Casey, I believe his name is. Um, uh, Music Money Makeover show. Or Money Music Makeover. I forgot his show. I'll probably try to link it in the description or whatever. Check his channel out on YouTube. He talk a lot of knowledge about the music industry. And I think he just recently said it's 90 years now that you could renew your copyright. So put in your fucking will to tell you, to remind your fucking kids or somebody. 90 years after I'm gone, tell the grandkids to go fucking renew this shit. Because if you don't, it's going to, two things most likely, well, one thing is definitely going to happen. It's going to become public domain. So you don't want motherfuckers using your grandfather's shit. For those in the future, grandkids, you better not let them motherfuckers use my shit, when, sampling my shit for free, son. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to haunt your ass. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's how you got to tell them, yo. I'm going to haunt your ass, son. You know what I'm saying? Word up. You better renew that shit, grandbaby. It's for your benefit and your kids' kids' benefit. This the law here. We could do that shit. But if they keep moving the goalposts from 75 years to fucking 90 and next is going to be... 125, we ain't gonna never fucking have no generational wealth, yo. At least as black folks any fucking way. So let's move on, man. Bang. So again, just to recap, artists get paid 25 cent. And that, and again, make sure you're doing your math, man. Do your math. You went from 7 cent off a dollar. You have 93 cent left. You just got paid 25 cent. The splits. That means 12 and a half cent a piece. Also to remember to pay your taxes again. You feel what I'm saying? This is this is why nobody like to pay their fucking taxes. Because the IRS and IMF and all these other motherfuckers be winning way too much. And it ain't nothing beneficial about that because the hood is fucked up. The roads are fucked up. The schools are fucked up. A lot of these kids are stupid as fuck. I know y'all see this shit. And I ain't trying to down no play nobody kid, but you, you, you as a parent know that shit. Your kid dumb as hell because the fucking school ain't fucking showing them shit. I'm 41. School never showed me shit. Everything that I know right now, I learned it from a fucking OG. I learned it from reading books. I learned it from being around older people. I ain't learned a motherfucking thing in school except for how to do music and art. Anything knowledge-wise, not really so much. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say I ain't learned nothing, but for the most part, fucking no. You know what I mean? And, and and this is the argument of critical race theory, too, by the way. They don't want that shit being taught at school because the average white person of the day who don't want to feel like, oh, man, I wasn't, wasn't no fucking slave owner, none of that shit. They ain't got nothing to do with it. You know what I'm saying? So, bang, right? Artist content, you know, uh, artists get paid, you know what I'm saying? 25 cent, 50 50 splits. You know, the 50 50 split off a quarter is 12 and a half cent, you know, on a 50 50 split. And if I'm going to feature artists, and I decided to have my fucking Wu-Tang crew come on there. Come on with me. You got to think about this, too, if you're the artist. If I decide to have all my homies come spit some bars and do some singing or whatever, you know, on a, on a track that Cruiser produce, that means I got to cut them in on that 12 and a half cent. So, you know, that's something to think about as we move forward. So, that's all done, on okay, on who gets paid next, or second, rather. Who gets paid second. You know, we paid our taxes first. You know, now we getting paid. Now, bang. We got 68 cent left on a dollar after those first two transactions. See that? And again, make sure you pay your taxes because this is called wealth tax. If I'm, you know, just freestyling to you, this is called wealth tax. The top tax is the business tax. If I'm the business kite productions, that means that uh, not seven cent is coming out of my pocket because I'm the one running the show. The money that comes out of your pocket tax-wise to Uncle Sam is, well, I guess if you live in an urban enterprise zone, it'll still be 3.5%. And if you got yourself LLC'd and, you know, you got your paperwork straight like that, then, yeah, it's 35 But if not, most likely you're going to be paying a high-ass tax. So you got to get your paperwork correct. Your, your uh, incorporation, which is, uh, I should have brought my paperwork out for that. You know, your incorporation, which is uh, your business, you know, um, you know, get you get you an EIN number so you don't have to use your Social Security number as your tax information. You feel what I'm saying? See, I'm, I'm only using my Social Security number 
when I said I paid my taxes for the first time, that's only because I work for a company as a regular, you know, a citizen or whatever, you know what I mean? A regular person, Al Body Wimbush, you know, I'm not going in as DJ Seg One of Kite Productions. So when I get, you know, when I go back again and start selling CDs for a dollar and I sell a minute, million units, you know, uh, what you call it? Uh, Uncle Sam is getting damn near 80,000 of that shit off a million dollars though. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But, and he ain't even got to get that. He could, he could just get the three and a half, which is about 35 to 40,000. But we going to just going to double on up to fix this fucking rose and all this other stupid shit out here that's wrong what's going on now. So basically, it's okay, boom, the artist got paid 50-50 splits, all that, right? So we got 68 cent on the dollar, right? Who gets paid next off of that dollar? Anybody want to chime in? Who gets paid next off of that dollar right there? Who gets paid next? Think about that. You know, we paid the business taxes. You know, for those that are in charge. And obviously you, as the artist, you know, you got your little cut off it too, or whatever the case be. So you have to pay your taxes too. But we still got 68 cent on a dollar though. Who gets a cut of that money now that we got like this money now that we know the artist got paid, paid their taxes. Uncle Sam got paid from the business. You know, we got 68 cent left on the dollar. Basically, the artist, again, gets paid another 25 cent. And I'm going to tell you why. So basically, you know, right here, 25 cent artist investment. That's what you're going to write there. 25 cent artist investment, retirement funds, social security. Artist investment, retirement funds, social security. That's what you're going to write right here. And uh, put 43 cent right below that. And you're going to write, shouldn't have to pay taxes unless cashing out and at only 10%. At only 10%. But I, I want to try to get that lower. But you know how some of these jokers be playing. They might not be trying to hear that shit. Because, <laughs> you know, we, we about to take this shit over though. So, the next person to get paid again is going to be the artist. You feel what I'm saying? Or, you know, the artist, the producer, you know what I mean? So, again, you know, even if me, Cruiser, did a track and it was featuring Isaac, we all going to get a cut off of that next 25 cent to be invested. Now, what I'm trying to look into, right? It ain't many of them out here, and I pretty much looked that shit up, so it is what it is. But, you know, right here where I'm at in North New Jersey, the Prudential Insurance Investment Firm is right in my backyard. So if you live in somewhere where you have an investment firm, a Berkshire Hathaway or some whatever, you know what I'm saying? A JP, JP, JP Morgan Chase, well, whoever, it doesn't matter. Bank of America, PNC, don't matter, right? Go talk to whoever and they, oh, we we're going to talk to whoever and see if these firms can start setting up portfolios for us artists to start, you know, saving up for our future or whatever the case be or put this retirement plan in. And if you, my age, 41 and up, obviously I've been working since I was 16. From the moment I was able to get working papers, I was, nigga, I had a job. You know what I'm saying? Automatic. And I was working even before that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been in the street hustling. Well, OGs. You know what I'm saying? So, basically, we're going to take that 25 cent and invest it. But just say as an example, right? You know, you know would you, would you, we'll keep using you, Cruiser, or whatever the case be. As an example. And, um... Uh, you know, say for instance, you know, you just did some beats or whatever, you, you know, you sold it at, at a dollar pop of BCD, you know, obviously you got your main, uh, your, your wealth, your, your main income rather, you know what I mean? That was a, you know, 25 cent and then you were going to take another quarter and invest it, right? So say for instance, you did all the work, so you're going to get that whole 25 cent invested or whatever the case be. So obviously, you know, these investment firms, they invested in the stock market and all that shit. So they're going to, you know, obviously set you up a portfolio. You know, and then obviously ask you questions like, you know, what things you like, and you, well, you know, uh, we like equipment and shit, and, you know, music and entertainment type stuff. So, okay, you know, dump some of my 25 cent into AMC movie theater and, and, and into Netflix and all this other shit, Apple, you know what I mean? I'm a, or a Samsung, yeah, dump some of my money into Samsung because <laughs> I'm talking to you on the uh, top of the line Samsung tablet and my phone is the Samsung and that's all I mess with. So you can put my money into Samsung. You know, obviously, I'll be binge watching Netflix, too, shit like that. So that's the investment side of it. So you could turn around 
and you know have a retirement fund off of this because obviously the the first twenty five cent you made you're gonna be fucking that up you know and you're gonna have to use that money you know to pay bills rent food kids well, you know car note phone bill gas cable whatever it is you're doing that's 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 bill money you feel what I'm saying along with a little bit of savings but not much though unless we're really selling a whole lot of fucking units which is the plan at the end of the day so basically you know that other quarter that we're getting paid off as the artist you know like i said investment the other one is you know for pretty much for it to be retirement but say for instance again when i spoke about the social security this is something i found out a couple years ago that even if you are self-employed and you're entrepreneur and all that other stuff that you could still pay into social security so i think that's a good idea for two reasons one it will help out this the social security fund we're always hearing this shit that is, the fund may lose money or whatever and the, the social security fund is really a great idea for those that work to make sure we got some type of two things or uh, some type of money coming in to pay bills at 65 plus and we got some medicaid so <laughs> i think that's a fair trade-off you feel what i'm saying in my opinion so but if you know obviously we're gig workers slash you know entrepreneurs musicians or whatever we should still be able to take some of that money and put and invest it back into social security isaac i'm not sure if, if there's a, a, a type of infrastructure like that set up in, in over there in africa the motherland you're going to have to find this out like again everything i say to y'all i'm just using it as an example of the 30 years experience that i've been putting in work on doing this shit and you're just going to have to nitpick on everything i say and this is why i'm saying you know, get your notepad together, write this shit down, run this video back, whatever, and go do the homework or what it takes to make this shit happen in your neighborhood. Also, make sure y'all look up peddling license. I know we went over this cruiser and how it is where you at right now. In the fucking, you know, the town tripping, whatever. It's the same thing out here in New Jersey. They be tripping, man. It's like they don't want you to be an entrepreneur. That's just what it is, man. They don't want you hustling and trying to get it on your own out the mud and all this other stuff. Because you really don't need nobody. You just need yourself. You know what I'm saying? And you need a strong team behind you to say, okay, all right, we believe in you, Cruiser, and we're going to move forward. You know what I'm saying? So we can all get eat at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So basically, that's it off the next quarter. You know, all, you know, investment, retirement funds, Social Security. That pretty much sums it up. But what I want to say at the end, you got to remember when you, uh, you know, get dividend funds and, uh you know uh investment and all this other stuff and uh you get stocks and what's the other word i'm looking for you know you got an estate that was left to you or whatever the case be or you or you got you want you you want a prize you want a car say for instance you want a car you got to pay taxes on that you feel what i'm saying or somebody gave you money you won a lottery or you hit the lottery or whatever you got to pay a tax on that but we shouldn't have to pay a tax on this for the simple fact we're already selling the CDs at a bottom price. You know what I'm saying? Other thing is, too, excuse me, we already gave Uncle Sam a double cut from the business side of it. We gave them, remember, an extra 3.5%. So, therefore, meaning, you know, if you are going to tax me when I decide to pull out all my investments and I want to just have my cash on hand for whatever the reason, that's your money, you can do what the fuck you want with it. I shouldn't have to face no heavy ass burden tax and whatever the tax is on it, it should stand at whatever we make it at. Now, there should never be no inflation on what it is I'm saying or no increase in tax on what it is I'm saying right now as far as the investment side of it. You feel what I'm saying? Because, again, we selling the CD at bottom dollar. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll have to pay some other heavier tax on show money. I don't know. You know, I'm, I'm, my main focus again is selling selling units, bro. I ain't worried about doing no shows. You know, I'm about selling music. This shit is dope to me. I sell I sell audio crack. That's what I call it. Shit, it's audio crack, yo. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm about. So basically, again, we shouldn't have to pay a high ass tax on that shit. But if we do have to pay anything, it should definitely be no more than ten percent. And even that is high. Same thing when I get down to the end of this list, you'll see why I land at 10% for the business side of it. You know, you could, you could call me the iTunes of this shit right now. 
So hopefully we could get that investment tax down to like, say, you know, 5% forever. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck if it's the year 55,000. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be 5% in 55,000. You know what I'm saying? Because we're not selling this shit for much. We're really just trying to give it away. But at the end of the day, you know, we got to eat something off of this. Got to pay the light bill. You know what I mean? Got to eat. I got, got to get around. Still got to. I got to go to work. You know what I'm saying? While well, I'm a musician, I got a talent. I got a craft. You know, I'm going to fucking work. You know what I mean? But so let's move on from there. The next the person or the thing that has to get paid, and just make sure you know we're following our math. Got to keep track of that. So again, at the top, seven cent. You got ninety three cent left. Taxes, three and a half percent. Urban enterprise zone, all that stuff. Next person that got paid 25 cent off that 93 cent that was left from the top was the artist or us, the artists, content creators, whatever. And it, we will have uh, 68 cent or something like that right at the bottom right here. Moving along, who gets paid on the third? That's the artist again. Investment, retirement, social security. And we should have 43 cent left on a dollar. And the 10 percent on the taxes or whatever the taxes is going to be on investment. That's coming off that quarter right there. Keep that in mind. So now we got 43 cent. And the next thing that's going to get paid or has to get paid is the re-up or the business rather. You know what I'm saying? And it's not really a, a profit to the business. The re-up is the materials that was used. The materials. You got to put the money up for materials. You know, cases. You know, you know, this is a little paper one, but, you know, and, then, and you know, this is a, uh, a Slim Jewel. You know, don't matter how we use it. Don't matter what it is. Hold on, let's, look, let's get both of them up there. You know what I'm saying? Feel me? Hold up. Let's get both of them up there. You know, it don't matter. So, we need materials. You know what I'm saying? You know, you got to constantly read up on your materials. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't read up on your materials, there will be no money coming in the following month, year, or the year after that. So you got to put money back into the kitty. Now, the reason why I say 25 cent goes back into the kitty <clears throat> for, 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 for each CD sold is because I, I, average, I average it out at about 25 cent for me to get the materials, create it, press it or whatever, bag it up and go hit the street and sell it or whatever, which I really don't account my time really for the press because I own the press. And it's already my time to fucking sit here and do this shit and press these CDs up. And it's already, I'm already on a clock 24-7 regardless. It's like I'm on a salary in a way. I'm not going to get paid any more or less. Or, you know, it's not going to be any more or less coming off this right here. Because, I'm, you know, I'm already getting it at a Pacific price from a Pacific company. And it only costs me, like I said, I always average it at about 25 cent. Just for any, um, what do you call it, um... Uh, well, we usually just call it hiccups or whatever the case be. And what a hiccup is, okay, well, you know, I got 100 units, but I had to give away 30 of them. See what I'm saying? And that's not a bad thing either, because don't look at it as you lost $30, because you could get that back in the tax write-off. See what I'm saying? Get it back in the tax write-off, off your 25 cent. You feel what I'm saying? Report, when you do your 1099, whatever business taxes, or whatever, you know, self-employed gig tax. Because you could sell CDs as a gig worker. It's all the same shit. So when you file your taxes, just make sure that, you know, at the end of the day, if I had to give away, you know what I'm saying? X amount, that's just a write-off. You feel what I'm saying? For the business. Same thing with the equipment. The microphone right there. Even the artwork on the wall. If you bought that for the business, that's a tax write-off. You feel what I'm saying? Put my fan back on and feel it getting a little hot up here. So that's the tax right off the keyboard. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you another thing that's a tax right off, yo. And this is, a, I forgot, I keep forgetting where I read this story, I heard this story at, right? So I heard, back, back to the Diddy Bop effect, Diddy ass, right? So suppose we had an artist meet him at like a, a fancy restaurant, right? And we wound up, I forgot, I forgot who said this. It was an actual artist that said this shit. I can't think of who it was, though. And he wound up like signing that artist or whatever the case be, right? And um, when the artist got their first royalty statement, their first royalty statement, I guess most likely from like ASCAP or some shit like that, 
or maybe like Diddy said, I don't write rhymes, I write checks. So if Diddy cut the check, he put the the food bill or the restaurant bill inside of the royalty statement, dog. Ain't that some shisty motherfucking shit, bro? So when an artist saw so when an artist saw that check, oh shit, you know I got paid X amount, but oh shit, five thousand came off that day we went to the restaurant. Motherfucking nigga, you said you was treating, nigga. No, <laughs> Diddy, you said you was treating me, nigga. Damn, I thought we was cold, fam. You know what I'm saying? Guess fucking not. And like I said, Diddy ain't no artist, man. So, like, it make no sense why he was fucking anybody because nobody, who the fuck did that to him, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> was Andrea Rell screwing you, bro, as far as raping you on your music? You ain't got no albums out. Oh, I had no albums out back then, Diddy. You know what I'm saying? You got albums now, No Way Out, and, you know, Money Making Mention, all that other shit. That's all fire, you know what I'm saying? I love them fucking records, you know what I'm saying? But we talking about at the height of Bad Boy, bro. Or even when you was with fucking Uptown. Like, that shit don't make no sense to me, man. That's another story for the fucking, you know, how to make money off your talent show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's another story. We'll be getting to that too, though. So, again, re-up on materials, you know what I mean? 25 cent going back into the kitty. And it might not even be that much because, you know, the more we, when we start moving forward, well, I'm basically starting back up again. It's Thursday. For those that don't know, Rakim the God MC will be in Newark, New Jersey at the NJ Pack at 5 p.m. You want to get there earlier than that because all the people that work downtown, they already got a step ahead of you. They ain't even gone home to their kids. They might have go to the concert because it's fucking free. And you could get drink, you could drink out there, and weed is legal in New Jersey, so motherfuckers are gonna be getting fucked up. You know what I mean? It is what it is. So if you around Newark, New Jersey, somewhere in the tri-state, or you're coming to visit for whatever reason, make sure this Thursday coming up. What's today's day? I think the 19th or whatever. So what is that? The 23rd, 24th, or whatever it's gonna be. What's today's day? Oh, today's the 20th. My bad. Well, today is the 20th because it's the next day. It's Tuesday morning now where I'm at. So the 22nd or whatever. 22nd of July, Rakim will be performing at NJ Pack, New Jersey Performing Arts Center, on this Thursday, which is the 22nd of July. So, a free concert, y'all, on that note. So, basically, you know, let's run it down again, because we're almost at the end of the, you know, th this page. So, you know, dollar CDs, who gets paid first? Uncle Sam. Remember, Urban Enterprise Zone or Opportunity Zones, look this shit up. Three and a half percent, that's what it is here in my hood. Again, this is just all example shit, but follow the blueprint and go do the homework with your city, town, country, wherever you're at, bro. Uh, you know, who gets paid next? You know, the artist or whatever the case be. Who gets paid next, the artist or whatever the case be. Uh, and then obviously, you know, 50-50 splits. Uh, you know, pay your taxes on that too. And obviously, you know, stay with the money or whatever the case be, you know, dollars right there at the top. We're starting. Pay our taxes, seven cent. You know what I mean? We got 93 cent on the dollar. Uh, you know, we get paid a quarter to artists. You know what you call it? Uh, we have, uh, I think, 68 cent again left on the dollar. Uh, the next person to get paid again is the artist. That's the third payment. You know what I mean? Which is another 25 cent. And we'll have 43 cent left on the dollar. Again, in the artist's uh, third payment, which is the investment retirement social security and hopefully we don't have to pay a lot of taxes we don't have to negotiate that with uncle sam bitch ass that's another story uh what you call it uh, the materials or you know putting money back into the business that's pretty much what it's called putting money back into the business like i said yeah i sold a lot of cds but i ain't i'm not making no money off of it from a profit wise other than i'm taking money out to pay whatever bills just so i could live you know what i mean but all the money is right behind me you know what i'm saying you know, see that, you know what I mean? I ain't got to explain to you what that is, you know what I'm saying? For those that don't know, yeah, that's an HPZ, even though that's an older generation model right there, still costs some bread, bro, you know what I'm saying? Now that, you know, it's very hard to get computer parts or whatever the case be because Trump with the terror shit with China. Not mad at you, 45. You my dude. I'm glad you did that shit because it's too much of American infrastructure 
in a country that we none of us Americans are even fucking in. So all American businesses, you know, unfortunately Trump was the president, so he ain't gonna let that shit happen. But in my opinion, if I was the president and you're sending your fucking business to another country because you feel like you could find cheaper labor, well, guess what? I'm going to tax the fucking shit out your ass. You ain't even going to have a business fucking with me if I'm the goddamn president of the uh, free world. You know what I'm saying? You want to you do that? Okay, watch what happens. You know what I'm saying? No lie. So that's that on the material, right? So let's, let's get back. You know what I'm saying? Stay focused. You know what I mean? So, again, you know... Investment and all that. I said that last materials, you know, behind me, you know, all the money going back into the, into the business every dime. You know what I'm saying? I don't spend, I don't take no vacation. I ain't got no fancy shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got no, no new, new, new Jordans. I ain't got no new Jordans, bro. You know what I'm saying? I got thousand dollars worth of fucking studio equipment, though. You know what I'm saying? I got vouch for that shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, materials or whatever the case be. Bang, right here. And now we got about. 18 cent left on the dollar 18 cent looks a little different because it's backwards okay i see it we got 18 cent left on the dollar now you know what i mean make sure you do your math follow along 18 cent right okay now with that 18 cent and i could just you know we'll, we'll still, I'll still show you the paper but you know i just put foundation fun and i put that there last because i just thought about it like towards the end when i was writing this shit but that 18 cent, now the company can get paid. See that? iTunes is capping 30% off of each dollar single or dollar twenty-nine. That's see, that's why they allow you to do that dollar twenty-nine shit. Because they're still getting 30 cent off of each shit. So basically, you the consumer is basically paying the tax for Apple for the most part, you know what I'm saying? Why does Apple need 30%? Like, don't they make money off of iPhones and fucking iMacs and Apple software? You know what I mean? And, and it's not, we're not saying that as, you know, entrepreneurs ourselves or musicians that we don't want to give you anything. We're not saying that, but 30% is a lot of fucking money, bro. And nobody ever bite a in the eye to say anything to Apple. I mean, I ain't going to say nobody. There's some people that are out there, music-wise, that went crazy on Apple. You know what I'm saying? About the 30%. But, you know, I'm one person. The other person, people that was going crazy on them back then until this day still. Just one person. We ain't got no, no lobbyists, no political connections behind us to go tell Apple, uh, yo, fuck you, dog. You know what I'm saying? You fucking goddamn raping me, no Vaseline ice cube style. You feel me? I appreciate you setting up an infrastructure. But I didn't ask you to, to tax me all this fucking bread. I'm, I'm here. Amazon does the same thing to uh, people that sell shit on Amazon. And, you know, eBay kind of did it that way, too. But eBay was eBay is fair, man. I got to get eBay some credit. You know, even though it was... Uh, what was it? I've been hustling on eBay for about 10 years now. Off and on, I ain't really on there like that, especially since the COVID hit. You know what I mean? A lot of the stuff that I'm doing is just not, you know, appeasing to somebody that want to buy something because... You know, it's not, it's not appeasing, hold up a minute, when we see that, it's not appeasing to buy a physical disc when you got artists giving away your shit. Artists, you're giving away your shit. This is why you can't reap no money off your, your talent. You're giving it the fuck away. So when you look at these, uh, what you call it, you know, sites, I, I didn't even want to say their name, but like these mixtape sites, we'll say that. You're uploading your shit there, and you're not even getting paid. So if you're not affiliated with a, uh, a distribution company like DistroKid, as an example, I'm just saying that because, you know, that's what I'm affiliated with. I ain't making no money off DistroKid or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This is not a paid promotion from DistroKid or none of that shit. But for $20 a year, where you could distribute your shit through the digital, you can distribute your music into the digital stores. iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, whatever, right? And so that way you ain't got to worry about you know, going to each site, Apple and all that other stuff, iTunes, Spotify, and uploading it individually. So think of, you know, know that $20 a year, you can have your own shit. But if you really got the money, my suggestion to you is start your own record label. This is the, this is the whole argument of all this shit, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Start your own record label. 
so that and you'll see the uh, the three different plans on DistroKit where you can just be an artist or you could be um, what is it like a distributor yourself and then the next one up is like the actual record label or something like that so if you can afford the highest shit and you could and, and you know you can afford it on an annual basis or maybe talk to distro kid to try to you know give them like 10 years worth of money or something like that you know in case you ain't you don't fuck with a bank account or something like that i don't know but you're going to need a bank account because how are you going to get paid on the back end see what i'm saying this is all about paperwork and an adulting one on one man got to have your paperwork together whatever the case be so like i said you know the 18 cent that's left over now the company could get paid off of that but as me being a company owner kite productions i don't need a whole 18 cent on a dollar because that's a lot of fucking money so if we sold again a million units 18 cent that's 180 thousand dollars company don't need that because i already built the infrastructure to the point where it ain't costing me nothing to well you know except for the materials you know i gotta pay for that but if i could find a way to manufacture some fucking goddamn plastic blanks where, where that blank blank go at where that blank blank go at like i said this is what a real blank cd looks like or starts off at it's a mold and then they apply the dye and all that other stuff you know what i'm saying later on to it so if i could find a way bro to manufacture this which i've, I've looked into it <laughs> the machines are out there you know what i'm saying they're out there but uh, I don't got the room to fucking house that shit because we're talking about manufacturing equipment for real. But I'm cool with the burners that I got. It's easy to control it. And then obviously, you know, the manual, they also have robotic ones. I'm not really into the robotic because with the manual ones, you know, you could hire somebody to burn these CDs. You know what I'm saying? So you figure with 18 cents on a dollar, you don't really need that, at, at, you know, you know, my company wouldn't need that much money because the way I got to look at it, too, I'm an artist, too. I'm going to be selling CDs at a dollar a pop and reaping 25 cents per joint sold just off off all my beats. And I know my shit going to sell because I'm out here selling CDs. You know what I'm saying? People looking for beat CDs or whatever type of music they're looking for. They're looking for music, period. They don't care what the format of the shit is on. Again, you know what I'm saying? Let me get this iPod. They don't care what the format is on. They don't care what the format is. They just want the shit. And they're willing to consume it, too, meaning purchase the shit. You feel what I'm saying? But if all these artists out here, you're just giving away mixtapes or whatever the case be. You feel what I'm saying? Just giving away your mixtapes or whatever the case be. Hold up, man. Okay, Isaac, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just saying your, um, what you call it? Okay, I'm just seeing your uh, your post. I didn't even know y'all was commenting on the shit. That's what I said. I ain't got the other phone set up. So, hold on. I'm going to read your comments in a, in a second, Isaac. Appreciate you ch chiming in, my boy. So, no, my company don't need 180000 off a million units. So, we could just deal with 10%. So, back to... Don't drop none of my props. You know what I mean? This is why I put foundation fund right here. You know what I mean? So... Again, we gave up three and a half percent, remember, to the government already to do infrastructure like programs. You know, you hit Jim Code Joe, President Biden or whatever you want to call him, my president, but whatever, you know what I mean? Talking about infrastructure. Yeah, but the goddamn bridges are crumbling globally, yo. Buildings you sort of got rest in peace to those people who lost their life in that uh that, that building collapse in, in Miami or wherever it was in Florida. The building was 50, 60 years old, being consistently hit by uh, ocean salt. Eventually, and then and then you had the inspectors tell the authorities, like, yo, this building is fucked up. You need to shut it down. But you got people, you know, you got these landlords or whatever the case be. You know what I'm saying? Pay these lobbyists or whatever the case be. Or pay these uh, inspectors, you know, shut the fuck up. Or pay the authorities, you know, hush money. You feel what I'm saying? And for, and for that, people lost their life. See that shit, yo? There goes the show, motherfuckers. It's a shiesty, bro. So, hold up a minute. So, basically, you know, we're going to give or start, you know, a foundation fund. And throw that a cent into it. Now, what could be of the foundation fund? You know, we could give money, you know, to the children's hospital, you know, 
You, know, you might have a single mom out there looking up on the rent money. Hey, don't worry, I got you for a month or two. You know what I'm saying? That, that's what this extra money is for. If we ain't learning, if we're not using our talents, not just to make money on our own accord, but also using it to turn around and give back and help somebody else, this money will never keep coming in the way it is. I haven't done this shit this long without breaking bread. Without breaking bread, bro. You feel what I'm saying? With other people. Rather be somebody that, you know, I know personally and just need whatever to the dope head on the street. You feel what I'm saying? I got to break bread with them too. Because that's my fucking peoples. And I ain't going to see them out here starving. You feel what I'm saying? If I could fucking do something about it. You feel what I'm saying? So... If a motherfucker ever said, yo, Al ain't give me shit, god damn, you lying like a mug, man. Watch that lightning bolt. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and that's like me saying, oh, motherfucker ain't never did shit for me. What? Shit, I better watch that lightning bolt. Oh, look out. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody has somebody do something for them, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Nobody got this far in your life without somebody not doing anything for you. You know what I mean? So with that being said, we're going to create a foundation fund, right? Now... Now, I as a company or whoever the company is can now get paid. And look at that. Company money, 10 cent off a whole dollar. Million units sold, it's only 100 grand. But the artist netted half of that. This is the whole point. The artist netted half a million dollars off a, a million units sold at a dollar a pop. Took home pay or income, whatever, you know, the, your gross or whatever you want to call it. If you're getting that income, whatever, be confusing me and shit. You know, your main income, you made 250000 But again, the other 25000 or 25 cents per dollar, excuse me, that's going into an investment fund. So you really made 500 you know what I'm saying? Thousand dollars, keep it real. But you're only paying taxes on half of that shit. You know what I'm saying? While the other shit, the other half of the money, it grows or whatever the case be, you know, for the next 30, 40, 50 years and whatever you dump an investment in. And keep in mind, this is a consistent investment. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going to be consistently selling CDs at a dollar a pop. And and it doesn't necessarily have to be a dollar. The dollar is an example of what I do. All this shit is an example. You don't have to sell your shit a dollar. You can sell your shit for $10, $20. You, you saw, saw what Nipsey Hussle did. He sold his shit at a fucking hundred, bro. I wanted to buy one of those, but by the time... I looked into it, this jigger them bought fucking a hundred of them. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Or whatever it was he sold. He sold, I know Nipsey did one album, I think, what was it, 10000 a pop for a CD? And he did the one, for, it was for a hundred, a hundred dollars a pop. And he only had a limited amount. You feel what I'm saying? So Nipsey got rich before he ever signed any record deal or whatever. He was rich. You know what I'm saying? You don't need no fucking body. You can do this shit on your own. But, you know, a lot of us don't want to, you know, take the time to do this shit or whatever the case be. We don't want to take the time to sit out here, sit, me sit up here, you know, do all the work on the paper, you know what I'm saying? Put the materials together, you know, go out there, go out there and sell the material, pull the money back and do it over again, repeat the process. You know, it's, it's a lot of us rather be, would just rather be content creators, cool. But you shouldn't allow these companies to, you know, to fucking rape you pretty much, man. Economically. See what I'm saying? So, now, again, with that being said, you know, just to, just to run it down again. Let's run it down one more time. For those that are just chiming in, you know what I mean? If you sold a CD at a dollar a pop, who gets paid first? Got to pay your tax. You know, in New Jersey, again, like I said, it's 9%. But I ain't giving fucking Jersey no fucking goddamn 9%. Kiss my ass across the board. You feel what I'm saying? Word up. Why? Because I live in an urban enterprise zone. I only got to give you 3.5%. You know what I'm saying? On a dollar. So, but I'm just going to give y'all stinking answers. Another 3.5% government. You know what I'm saying? Because I want you to invest that shit into infrastructure. The roads are fucked up. The schools ain't doing shit. Teachers ain't getting paid. Teachers got to buy fucking school supplies with their own fucking money. Government, you should be a fucking shame to yourself. But this is why people be telling me to run for office. But I'm not never gonna smile in nobody's face. I'm gonna tell you what the fuck it is, man. You know what I mean? Artists get paid. You know what I'm saying? Get your 25 cent. You know, you split sheets with your homies that did you collabing with. You know, that 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 50 50 split off the 25 cent is 12 and a half cent. 
Don't forget, pay your fucking taxes. Pay your fucking taxes, yo. I don't want nobody coming after you. You understand what I just said? Pay your fucking taxes. See how I got the line like that shit? What I, what I wrote next then? Well, I wrote 10% there too. I ain't even realized that. Okay, let's back up. So when you pay your taxes, it shouldn't be no more than 10%. But hopefully we could get it at 3.5%. But the only way you're going to pay 3.5% from 10%, you feel what I'm saying? Is if you have your paperwork together. Incorporate yourself. Get yourself an LLC, an EIN number. You could even be a sole proprietor. I'm a sole proprietor. I, ain't, I don't need nobody. Not to say I don't need nobody. But I only got a sole proprietorship. So I can start reaping the benefits of having a business. And this this is another argument. That people be like. Especially black motherfuckers. Oh what the fuck I need a business for. I'm not doing business and shit. You know what I mean. It's not the point. I got a business plan with T-Mobile, fam. I'm paying a little over a hundred dollars, a little over like one twenty-five or something like that, for five phone lines, bro. I cut the Comcast completely off. What the hell I need internet from them for when I got five G in this bitch? I could go online, download shit, still get Wi-Fi off the hotspot, and I don't need to download that much of important files anymore. Cause I'm mainly downloading it now on my five G phone. So when I'm going on plug-in boutique. And I need to get the latest VST because they got the shit for a dollar. You know how plug-in boutique do. They, matter of fact, that's all this shit is. It's a plug-in boutique plan. You feel what I'm saying? When they got this shit for the low, okay, I'm going to go download it. So instead of, you know, download it straight to the computer now, I'm going to just go and throw it on my phone. Why? Because I'm on the move. You feel what I'm saying? This is the whole purpose of this shit. It's a computer on wheels. And if I wanted to, I could still plug this phone and have it mirror the computer and be somewhere at work. While the studio over here in the crib and still working on the studio and have my phone, yo, go right on plug in boutique for my phone, but I'm on my computer by the computer connection. I forgot what it's called and shit. Google Google Connect or whatever the fuck it's called. And download whatever I need to download, but it's downloading to the computer. It ain't even coming on my phone, but I'm using my phone to control the computer. See how crazy technology is, man? So now with that being said, you know, what was he at? You know, again, you know, I pretty much ran all this shit down to you. You know, make sure you do your math. Do your math, man. You know what I mean? And and also, for those that I did tag, that you may not even be a musician. You know what I'm saying? I know I tagged my homie Choice. Hopefully you see this shit later. You do clothes. Plot this system to fucking close, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Plot this shit to close. Anybody else, you know, I don't know what it is. You know, I attacked a bunch of people that other artists, other industries. Apply this shit, this blueprint to your industry and watch you come the fuck up. You feel what I'm saying? If you do the math, you never have to work for nobody ever. You feel what I'm saying? On that note. So, you know, moving forward now, now that we know this stuff, you feel what I'm saying? Basically, what I'm trying to do now, let's get to the real point of the matter. You know what I'm saying? Let's just throw the blueprint right there for a second. You know, let's get to the real gist of the matter. So basically what I need from y'all, what, what is it that, you know, SAG 1 need from y'all, right? I need the content. You feel what I'm saying? If you're uploading all your shit to YouTube and you expect that, you don't, you don't care if YouTube gives you 0 0.0000000006 cent. On a dollar, dog. That's a negative penny, fam. You don't. You ain't sweating them. All right, well, let me get the same content. You just uploaded that shit for free. Because you're really giving the shit away. I'm about to go on the street and fucking sell this shit for a dollar. And I'm going to give you fucking 50 cent back. I'm going to give you 50 cent back, fam. That's more than what, no disrespect to TLC, what Pebbles was fucking giving them. Or what any other fucking music label was giving their artists. I don't heard every artist talk about this shit over and over again. But nobody did nothing about it. I got another example for you, right? You see all what's going on with the TikTok shit, right? Now, sh shout out to 45. He told you, jokers, the globe. China's stealing your information by way of companies like TikTok, which is a Chinese-owned company. CCP, you know what I'm saying? That's the Chinese government, you know what I'm saying? They're stealing your information. We, we, what is China known for right now? Organ harvesting. 
This is for you fucking black parents out there. Or any fucking parent. Because I ain't, I ain't with that fucking predator shit. I'll beat your ass if you want some child predator shit. You feel what I'm saying? Because I got little nieces and nephews. Little cuzzos. I'll be damned if somebody fuck with them on that fucking level. I'm coming to tear, tear this motherfucker apart. Automatic. You feel what I'm saying? Why y'all uploading y'all shit to TikTok when it was already known that they stealing your, your information? So if you uploading your age or all this other shit, you know, I don't give a fuck if Facebook do that shit. Why? Because if Facebook is a fucking American company, I'm in America. I'm tied into the ad tire system because I want, I want to see that shit. I want to get a discount on fucking CDs. So if I'm tied into the ad revenue sense shit or all the ad advertisement shit, yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. Why? Because I'm in America. I ain't worried about that shit, but I, I'm starting to be a little bit more worried about it because we've seen companies like Facebook and Twitter already on the Senate floor testifying saying about people's privacy policy, about me, about people's privacy, and the government ain't pressing these motherfuckers enough, you feel what I'm saying? So for all we know, Facebook could be selling our information to fucking China too, so this is why we need our own shit, you feel what I'm saying? And... Let's talk about that right there, too, because, again, you're going to run into people, man. Oh, I don't got no CD player no more. Oh, I don't buy music or none of that other shit. They just saying that shit to fuck with you, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Just the fuck they do. They just want to try to play you. I've been there a thousand times. I almost got into fights with motherfuckers, you know, for me trying to sell them a CD. I don't have people pull guns on me. Because I didn't want to give them a CD. I've been cursed out because I didn't want to give somebody a CD. been cursed out. You know what I'm saying? Like I, like I stole something from somebody. You feel what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. The fact of the matter is, again, if you're not on your grizzly, you know, with the blueprint, you feel what I'm saying? If you're not grinding with the blueprint for those that just coming in and live, I don't know who else in the live, Run the video back, you feel what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna run it back. It's way too much information. And, and you know, this is just like a quick freestyle shit. Of it. It's so much more than that. You know what I mean? And spread the information. I mean, don't be shysty with it. You know, share it with your fucking brother or sister, man. You know what I mean? So, with that being said, you know, what I need from y'all again, I'm trying to stay focused, you know what I mean? Nigga be smoking. I need the content, man. So, if you wanna email me your music, your, 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 your albums, it don't matter if it's past or some shit coming out in the future. I don't care if you had a hundred albums that came out years ago and you're about to drop a hundred tomorrow. I want all that shit. Why? Because I got the infrastructure to fucking replicate it. You feel what I'm saying? And put it out in the street. Now, for any of you other people that may be listening to this live and you know somebody that has a business, say for instance like an urban... I, I, I hate that word. I don't even know what the fuck made me say that. If you know anybody that got a clothing store, I'm going to say that shit. You know what I'm saying? Holla at them. Anybody with a barbershop, hair salon, the, 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 the fucking, uh, no Muhammad at the fucking chicken shack, bro. You know what I'm saying? Holla at them. Poppy at the fucking bodega. You know what I mean? Yo, Poppy, this my fucking shit. We about to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Hello? Put this shit on the shelf, Poppy. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, we need to start getting these stores. Because we don't need to build no record store. We don't need to have no Wiz or no fucking Sam Goody anymore. Them days is over with. All we need is ourselves and the fucking footwork to go out here and talk to these, talk to the people, bro. Talk to the fucking damn customer, the consumer, and say, look, I got this shit and for a dollar. And if they try to say, well, you know, uh, I don't got CD player no more, I don't buy CDs, none of that shit, other shit, I only, I only, I only stream, I only stream. Okay, no problem, sir, man. Guess what? You could buy the insert cover or whatever the case be. You feel what I'm saying? And you could, you know, the information there on, on the insert cover, you just got to log on. You feel what I'm saying? Or, you know, whatever. Give me a, Some people will give you a dollar just because they see you out here trying to do something positive. That's another thing. to see, to see, that's what's so dope about being independent. People will support you just because they like what you're talking about. Or they see that you're grinding and they see you every day doing the same thing. You ain't out here selling no drugs. You ain't out here fucking robbing people. And I did all that shit. Been in prison, all that shit. I tell, keep it fucking real. You know what I'm saying? Did all that shit too. You know what I'm saying? As a youth. Because why? When nobody fucking around to tell you any indifferent, man. You know what I mean? So, at the end of the day, if we're not selling physical copies and you're just relying 
on streaming, knowing damn well the average consumer, the average, not even gonna say consumer, because a, per, a person that consumes buys shit. The average person, listen to me, the average person out here does not have a cell phone. Think about that, fam. It's 2021. The average Joe does not have internet connection, no cell phone, no none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? You're fucking poor. This shit, this shit costs money to fucking keep on. This ain't even a top of the line Samsung phone. And this shit rocked me damn near 600, the original MSRP price. Manufacturer suggested retail price. MSRP, keep that in mind. Remember these words. But luckily me, you know, I'm on my pimping coupon shit. I got it for half off. You feel what I'm saying? Payment plan. Why? And I, and I ain't even going to say a payment plan. It's on my business credit. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? So all I'm doing is getting my fucking credit up through my business. And, you know, like I said, I ain't, ain't got to be doing business to have a, a business account or to get an EIN number. The whole argument is to incorporate yourself. Incorporate your kids. Tell your family to get on this shit. So that way, you could go get a whatever phone service or whatever service you trying to consume, get a business account with them. Don't even use your regular name, nothing. You feel what I'm saying? Because it ain't even worth it nowadays. Because that, that shit is old. It's time to fucking grow up. So go get yourself incorporated. That's very easy to do. You know, like I said, you know, I spoke on taxes a thousand times. Go to your local town hall, city hall, business district, whatever it is you got to go to. And find out how to incorporate yourself. Two things I know for a fact you're going to need. About a hundred to a hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, you know, the prices was obviously varies where you're at. You know, and when I did it, it was like a hundred, hundred and fifty or whatever. And this was in 2003. So I know that the, the uh, what do you call it? The, uh, the influx has gone up on it. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the inflation is going up on it. You know what I mean? So you might be looking at $200, $300 to incorporate yourself. Well, okay. You know what I'm saying? What's $300 compared? To, I'm going to be making a fucking quarter of a million. <laughs> I mean, excuse me, $500 million every fucking year. Because I'm selling a million units a year. And that, that $250 ain't shit. I'll give you that shit 10 times over just for the sake of fucking doing it. So again, go incorporate yourself. One thing, like I said, you're going to need, you're going to need some bread, you know what I'm saying, in order to do it. And also, you know, for those that want to be down with this shit, you know what I'm saying, it ain't all about doing the work on your own. This is the whole reason why I'm talking about this stuff, you know what I'm saying? It's about us helping each other and building this team. Because again, like I said in the video, you know, Steve Jobs had Steve Wozniak, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And created Apple in a fucking garage, bro. You feel what I'm saying? If I'm fucking Steve Jobs, I need a Steve Wozniak right now. I need I need 10 Steve fucking Wozniaks. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like I need 10 of me, but it's only one. I'm pretty sure Steve Jobs felt the same fucking way. You feel what I'm saying? Bill Gates, anybody with that, that's a fucking creative, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So now with that being said, again, it's all about the content. Let's get on the ball and start getting this content out here. I don't care if you got old shit. Like I tell artists... Guess what? That fucking album you did 10 years ago, ain't nobody in New Jersey heard that shit. H half the people in your town ain't even heard it. So why aren't you reissuing it and reselling it over and over and over again? I sell the same CDs, fans. I said this earlier. To the same people over and over and over and over and over and over again, bro. For a dollar, though. Why? Because, yeah, it's yours to keep. But again, I'm trying to, let me throw these over here. So I ain't using those. Again, I'm going to get my lighter right here. You know what I'm saying? Trusty flicky flicky. Flicky flicky. People don't fucking take care of this shit. See, I just scratched that shit up right there, bro. The fucking line. But you don't even need a lighter to fuck this shit up. This is the first thing people do as consumers. This the information side. When they grab the CD, just fucking fingerprinted the shit out of it. You know what I mean? These, these, this ain't no thick media CD shit that I'm buying from a blank. 
It's really just really thin plastic that you can, you know, access the information on. But the average consumer doesn't take care of shit. And the quality of things nowadays are not built the way they used to be 30 years ago, 40 years ago. A lot of this shit that we're consuming, TVs, all this other shit, is garbage, dog. It is garbage, garbage, garbage material. And we're paying top dollar for this shit. You feel what I'm saying? Do, do your homework on the fucking iPhones and how much they're made. Jordans, how much it costs to make Jordans. And when they come over here to the States or to the UK or wherever it's popping, it's Johannesburg, South Africa. They selling that shit to you at $100, $200, $300 a fucking pair. But it only cost them, remember, the materials, it only cost them $0.25. Cent. They marked their shit up so hard because of all the shit they got to do to actually get it off still, too. I'm not upset. It's a business. You know, import, export. You feel what I'm saying? You got to pay taxes. This country, that country. You feel what I'm saying? This state, that town, all this other shit because you sell them millions and millions of Jordans and millions of CDs. All right, that's okay. Because guess what? That... All that money I paid in taxes and all that shit, I done made that shit back a billion times. A billion times, yo. So don't look at it as, you know, I got to go spend $250 to get myself incorporated. I got to go spend $100 to get 100 CDs and all this other shit. No, nah, the, the money is not a factor right now. You feel what I'm saying? Because you're going to be m m making money over fist or whatever how they say it. Hand over hand, you're going to be making fucking bread. You know what I'm saying? It's guaranteed I did the work already. And like I said, you know, you're going to have them people out there, oh, I don't buy CDs and all this other shit. Okay, well, we got flash, flash drive, sir, man. You feel what I'm saying? Oh, you don't want to buy that? Well, you know, I got the insert cover or whatever. I know this is a case. But pretend it's an insert cover. Pretend it's an album cover. I got this album cover. got, you know, the scan code on here and all this other shit. And then my links to my websites and all this other shit. So well, guess what? When they, If they do decide to fucking not just buy it from you and they just actually decide to go on your pages and all this other shit. Okay, now you got a follower. You're getting your followers up. You're getting... You know, they're going to look at the content, so you're getting your views up. Now, now, that's when it starts to, you know, show on the digital side that, okay, damn, I'm getting some type of revenue, but not really because all these streaming services is giving you the TLC treatment, basically. They're giving you less than $0.10 cent per stream. It takes 1,500 streams to be considered one album sale. But if I go out there and sell 1,500 CDs, bitch, I just made $1,500. The fuck I need you for, YouTube? Feel what I'm saying? But let's take a break for a minute. Let me see. Summarizing. Summarizing our body session with the sweet sound six. When we was around to record, we'll keep your heart and mind. For sure, my brother. For sure. Appreciate you, Isaac. All day. What kind of? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Organizations are there surely, but one has to be his own detector to check viability of each now and then and is the case of mainstream commercial artists often get priority yeah they're, well again those mainstream artists that are getting priority remember they got the machine behind them bro they got the terminator behind them you feel what i'm saying the terminator is the record label bro you feel what i'm saying you could be your own terminator dog you feel what i'm saying this is what this is why i'm telling you this information Go be your own Terminator. I'll tell you where to get the equipment from. Even if you got to buy it over here in America and then you get it shipped to fucking where you're at, where you're at bro. Set up shop, dog. You feel what I'm saying? And don't don't sell the shit unless you sell it to another motherfucking black dude. You know what I'm saying? Because how else are we supposed to create generational wealth amongst the Africans? You feel what I'm saying? Our African people. You feel what I'm saying? We all African at the end of the day. Nigga, I'm, I'm black, you black, bro. You know what I'm saying? Or brown, whatever you want to identify it as. You know what I mean? We all come from the motherland. Even my white homies. You know what I'm saying? You know, this channel, again, I, I just never keep it as, oh, we just doing music, music, beats, beats, beats. No. This shit is politics. This shit is history. This shit is fucking straight up debating. You know what I'm saying? And resolution, conflict resolution, because, again, we, I, I, I could play a thousand beats for you right now. I know Cruiser got a thousand beats. I know you got a thousand bars, Isaac, all day. You know what I'm saying? I heard your raps. You got fire. Where's the money at, though, bro? You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nothing being generated off of this shit. And when I talk about this stuff, you know, to artists or whatever the case be, you know, the, their first instance is to, to, to put, a, put a nigga down. Oh, ain't nobody buying no CDs. That shit dinosaur. You go to work, though, bro. You go work for somebody, bro. I'm out in the street, though, creating my own work. You feel what I'm saying? 
So when you say, well, you know, the artists got the machine, but I mean, you know, the artists get the priority. That's only because they got the machine behind them. Let's create our own machine, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Matter of fact, that's another thing I'm looking into or have been looking into for a while. And I'm looking for any, you know, I'll talk to some people. If you know anybody that does IT work, IT professional, information technology, man. We could build our own Netflix and Spotify. This shit is fucking cheap and it don't cost nothing. I really looked into this shit. I think that might be my my next machine, or at least what I'm trying to anyway. And the reason why I say we should definitely definitely go that route. Because if we plan on, you know, all right, okay, the CD thing is great. But obviously the new thing is, again, you know, we want people to go check the website out. You know what I'm saying? Check the Facebook out. Check the Instagram, all this other shit. See the stunt gang. You know what I'm saying? See how we rolling this shit. You know what I mean? So basically with that being said, you know, we need to create our own digital space. Like, I, you know, I got the Kite Productions website up, but I don't want to use that. Well, I ain't even going to say we're going to use Kite Productions. Even though, you know, talking to Cruiser, you should just use your shit. And, and you're right, because I'm creating it all, but it ain't about me. You feel what I'm saying? It's about all of us as a collective. You feel what I'm saying? Key word, collective. If we're not in on this shit together, what's up, my boy Edgar? You know what I'm saying? Big E. DJ Extraordinaire, Reign Supreme, you know what I'm saying? I see you charming in. You know, if it's not about the collective or whatever the case be, then what the fuck is this shit all for? You know, you're doing it for nothing because, you know, if you really think you can make it on your own, hey, best of luck. I'm not hating. I'm going to support you still. But at the end of the day, a lot of us that are in the entertainment industry fail. And this is just, like, you know, my opinion for what I've been through and what I see and what I hear other artists talk when I try to explain this shit to them. We feel that we do not need each other. That you could do it on your own. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to never happen. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to happen, bro. Yeah, you may be able to build something on your own. But eventually, you're still going to have to hire somebody. You're going to have to have, put that team in place. You feel what I'm saying? In order to make that dream come to fruition. It's just logical sense. You know what I mean? So, again, you know, what you're saying, Isaac... You know, these artists, yeah, you know, they do got some type of priority with them. Maybe maybe that's how it is, I guess, and you know, where you at over in the motherland. But over here, you know what I'm saying, it's kind of like you really got to go back out and grind now more than ever. Because the record labels are fucking, I ain't going to say they're dead, though, but ain't nobody, I ain't even going to say anybody even looking for a record deal. I don't even think record labels even give a fuck about signing artists because they now have control of the streaming. All we got to wait for you to do is upload some content to Distro Kid and find a way how to, they're getting paid off the playlists now. You see what I'm saying? Excuse me. This is why I'm heavy on creating playlists, you know, at least from a, a New Jersey perspective and putting on Jersey artists. You feel what I'm saying? Because why should we allow some outside entity that ain't from New Jersey? I don't give a fuck if it's a motherfucker from PA or New York. Don't be creating no fucking Jersey playlists, motherfucker. <laughs> Unless you some consumer. If you some artist and you trying to do that, or you some promoter nigga, label nigga trying to do that shit, fuck out of here, yo. Go create some fucking Philly shit and some California shit and some Johannesburg shit for your peoples, you feel what I'm saying? So that way you'll have control on it and you know that shit stay in, in, in the thing. Pardon me real quick, get this fan off me. You see this shit turning my eyes red like I'm smoking right now. But it's hot as a motherfucker in the studio, you know, all this damn equipment on, you know what I mean? So, again, you know, just running it back, y'all. You know, watch this live. You know, share this shit, whatever. You know, if you know somebody that's an artist or whatever the case be. You know, entrepreneur. It ain't got to be music. It could be whatever industry. You know what I'm saying? Take the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? Take the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? And you know, this is the other blueprint. The main blueprint of how I created the dollar CD. Matter of fact, let me talk about this one for a minute before we go. So, let me talk about this one. And share this live, y'all. You don't even know anybody. Share the live, please. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, let me see something real quick. Do, 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 do. So basically, I know you you know it looks like a bunch of scribble scrabble or whatever the case be. And, and it is, I can assure you that. You know what I'm saying? It's my scribble scrabble for my mind. But just to read it all to you, like I said, I was cleaning up, you know, everybody in the fucking house doing COVID and shit, you know what I'm saying? So everybody cleaning up. We ain't got shit to do. We done did everything. We bored as hell. So we just gonna clean the house a thousand times. So at home chilling, cleaning up. I, I looked at this shit, bro. Like I'm like I got it in my hand. I'm looking at him. What the fuck is all this damn numbers and scribble scrabble? 
and I went like this, and then I swear, bro, it's like some strange force stopped my hand from crumbling and shit, bro, and I said, hold on, what the fuck is this shit again? Oh, shit, this the fucking goddamn blueprint, how I was able to come up with the dollars to see this shit. Damn, dog, almost threw the blueprint away, son. <laughs> Real shit. And how I created this was during the height of the recession of fucking 2008 or 9 or whatever. Thanks for nothing, Obama. No say, even though the recession wasn't your fault. We, we ain't get shit from that shit, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's Bush punk ass with the whole 9-11 shit, you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to anybody that lost anybody on 9-11 either, you know what I'm saying? But we know what the fuck it is. So again, you know, it's the height of the recession. You know, shout out to the DMV. I was living down there. You know, wound up having to come back because it's a recession. I can't afford to stay down here, man, because I ain't from there. And I don't know how to really hustle, even though I started the CD shit back up down there. See what I'm saying? And also, shout out, I, 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 I lost connect with one of my Muslim bros down there who was actually selling uh cds or whatever for a dollar and it wasn't that 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 intrigued me you feel what i'm saying it was that you know i already knew how he was getting it you know what i'm saying so that, that like that didn't you know uh you know uh what's the word i'm looking for you know that didn't excite me or whatever you know i already knew what it was because i had already had my own infrastructure you feel what i'm saying but you know i never thought about you know what i'm saying doing the dollar CDs myself until the recession hit. And I wound up having to move back to New Jersey. And I'm sitting on my aunt's couch. Shout out to my aunt Kiki, you know what I'm saying? Sitting on her fucking couch, you know what I'm saying? Because I just moved back here. I ain't, you know, ain't want to get my own apartment and waste money. There's no jobs and none of that shit, you know what I'm saying? And this is what I was doing. I was selling CDs at the time. But, you know, now, remember I said earlier in the video, you know, 3 for 10 era, this is more like... The two for five era now, you know what I'm saying? You get CDs, DVDs, two for five, whatever, bootleg, you know what I mean? So you, you figure, what, 2010, you know what I'm saying? This, that, that's the year, 2009, 2010, 2011, whatever. Sitting on my aunt's couch, and I said, I, I, came, I came home, one, came to our house one day, right? After looking for fucking work, all day. Or I, I think I was outside selling CDs or something all day. I was doing something. But I was out trying to get some money, put it like that, or look for some money, or look for some work. So, came home, I said, yo, this recession is fucked up. It's worse up back here in home in Jersey than it, it was in D.C., in my opinion, because up here, everybody looking for work, you know what I'm saying? But down there, it's kind of more open, it's more low, somewhat country, city-oriented. So, it's places open where you could kind of have found work still. But I didn't have a car down there. So, that was the problem of me moving back. At least this way, when I come back to New Jersey, I'm closer to transportation, and I'm, I'm from home, so I know how to maneuver here. So, at my own house, thinking, I said, yo, it got to be a better way to get these motherfucking CDs off. So, again, you know, put out a pen and paper, man. Got to be a solution to the problem. Start writing your fucking problems down, and you will come up with a fucking solution. I swear to God, on anything. Because this is living proof right here, man. I said, you know something? I could sell these CDs at a dollar, just like OG was doing in DC, you know what I'm saying? And it will hurt my bottom line in the beginning. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna fucking kill them, you know what I'm saying? So once I thought about it like that, you know what I'm saying? I said, you know something? All right, you know, you see it right there. That was the first thing I wrote, dollar CDs. And everything you see else is on here. Okay, who my connections? What, 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 you know, who, who the vendors? Who the manufacturers of the cases, the CDs? The, the insert covers, all this shit is written down right here. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, if I get it, for, if I got this amount of money I think I wrote right here, or, you know, I don't even know what it is. You know, it's going to cost me this much. Blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, I said, you know something? I forgot what it was. I, I'm gonna have to really look this over to really understand what it is I wrote. Cause I even now I don't even understand. It's like hieroglyphics right now. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> I swear to God. So you know, but you know, like like I said, to make a long story short, if I'm getting CDs 
and they, you know, I got you know most of the infrastructure already. I got the equipment already, that, which is the infrastructure, and mm -hmm. I'm getting, and, you know, I need the materials. I got to get that from somebody else, but I have looked into a machine that can replicate my own blanks. You feel what I'm saying? Just as well as one day it's gonna be a machine to fucking create my own fucking flash drive. Think about it. They got 3D printers out here. You can print any fucking thing. So with that being said. Once you do all the math to this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And you figure out, you know, who your competition is, who your lowest, you know, what, what prices you're getting the materials for, you know, what your customer base is, you know, what they like, you know, they, uh, you know, they prefer streaming, you know, they, they want a flash drive, do they want the fucking CD or whatever the case be, vinyl record, don't fucking matter. Uh, shit, I'll sell your ass sheet music. <laughs> I'm, I'm a hustler, you feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, Again, artists, I don't know where my main CD went. Artists, you know, and, 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 and uh, DJ Rain Supreme, this is really for you too, bro, as much as anybody, because we need the DJs to start stepping it up and just start playing any old type of music. Like you said, Isaac, you know, these artists got the machine behind them. I don't give a fuck with Drake dropping. Fuck that nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep it real. This said one shit? Oh, this that new hot fucking fire. Drake ain't spitting like this. Play this fucking record, DJ. You feel what I'm saying? And play it without me having to either tell you it's fire, you feel what I'm saying? Or even pay you to play play it. Because remember, in the 90s and the early 2000s, what did we have? And most likely it's still going on. You had the pay to play scheme. The pay to play scheme. Where artists would pay the DJs whatever amount of money in the club, on the radio, mixtape DJs, pay them all his bread, you know what I'm saying, to put play their record in a rotation or whatever, you know what I mean? If you a DJ, and, and it's not me going on you either, you know what I'm saying, you my dog, top dog, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just an example, I'm, I'm nitpicking you and using you as an example. If you a DJ, you should be looking for music. And you should be looking for that, that needle in the haystack and play that shit so much to the point motherfuckers be like, yo, what the fuck was that? You, you keep playing. Who the fuck is that person? Oh, yo, yo, that's that's my motherfucking man, Seg One, yo. Who? Seg One. Street educated gentleman who obtains knowledge. You ain't heard of him? Nah. <laughs> well, shit. You want to buy my CD I bought from him? I bought it for a dollar, but shit, you need it real bad. You give me two dollars. See what I'm saying? So now you selling CDs too. You know what I'm saying, E? Real shit. So again, artists. I just need this content right here. And obviously, again, what I get, I think it's like, I think it's like $30 or something like that. Now, give or take, because it's been about a year or so since I did this shit. Because I've just been doing so much other shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and I'm still selling CDs, don't get it twisted. I've sold CDs within the last year, so tons of them. But it ain't been heavy because, you know, the one year, it's fucking stupid ass COVID, you know what I'm saying? And obviously, you know, 2019, I went back to work and, you know, wound up getting sick myself with some other shit. So I, I ain't really been out on the street hustling. So, like, again, back to the Rock Kim shit, you know, if anybody that's coming to Newark or going to be in Newark or going to be around the area, you know, Rock Kim will be performing at. Uh, NJ Pack this Thursday on the 22nd at 5 p.m. But you want to try to get there earlier than that because once the work lasts out around the downtown area, that shit gonna get flooded and you may not be able to make it to the front of the stage to see the guy Allah spit the hot bars. You feel what I'm saying? On that note, so let's see what else did you say, my boy Isaac? Hold up a minute. Do 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 do. Hold up a minute. Do do do. Why does thing keep dog? Yeah, man. Hey, man, Isaac, you ever come over to New Jersey? You know, you got a place to stay. You ain't got to pay for no fucking hotel, my dude. Uh, da da da. Da da da. On some Mary Jane tip or something. Oh, yeah. Got to smoke, baby. Let's see. Uh, why does thing keep on playing? Hold up a minute. Ole for life. Most of the self education, Googling, research, and blogging daily already registered with the main. Plus a few others in performance broadcasts, etc. Right, thank you for the. Oh yeah, you're welcome, my boy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, let me know what the hell's going on over there too. Where you at too, bro? You know what I'm saying? It ain't about just what's popping over here with me. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get over there where you at. 
See, see, you trying to come over there. Go, come over here. I'm trying to go over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Word up. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? I want to know, know about this Samro, which is obviously a performance agency where you register your shit at. Yeah, I want to know about that too because, you know, you got companies, I think is what is it, Song Trust or whatever the case be? Song Trust or whatever, you know what I'm saying? They uh collect money throughout the world, you know what I'm saying, for artists or whatever because, you know, each country's royalty copyright payment system is all fucking different, you know what I mean? So you, obviously you need these type of companies. I think it's like I said against Song Trust or ASCAP does it, one of these motherfuckers. I got to look back into that again. But that's another show. But, you know, you got to sign up for these companies. Otherwise, you're going to have to do the work on your own, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But, you know, you may some people just don't want to do the work on their own, man. So for those that, you know, this whole this whole video session is for those that want to do the work. You know what I'm saying? Send me your content. DJ Seg one at Yahoo.com. D-J-S-E-G-W-O-N at yahoo.com matter of fact nah don't send it to that email address send it to kite beats which gotta be professional this is the company ship kite beats k-i-t-h-e-b-e-a-t-s kite beats all one word at yahoo.com you know what i'm saying kite beats at yahoo.com but you come to the kite pages the the email address is always splattered the phone number you could call me to 202-355-2863 you know, don't call me in the morning because I'm gonna most likely go off on you because I'm asleep. You know what I'm saying? So as soon as I hang up with this video, I'm going right behind me until whatever we hours in the morning. You feel what I'm saying? Creating content to be put out there to be sold as a product so people can consume this shit. You know, and also, you know, there are other things in the works that we can also, you know, not even really worry about selling CDs because, like I said, you know, the real content now, unfortunately, is on the phone. You know, look, look, I'm talking through y'all through a fucking goddamn video right now. See what I'm saying? This is content right here, you know. So, there's other ways we could get money by still using the CD as a tool. You know what I'm saying? To go to these consumers, go to these uh, other local businesses or whatever the case be. Hey, you know, poppy, put my shit in the store. You're going to eat off it too. Now, now, with that being said, hold on, man. If anybody out there that has a business, excuse me again, like I said, clothing store, whatever, and you want to get on in this too because we're going to need you, you feel what I'm saying? Y'all the real essential workers or whatever the case be, call me, man. You know what I'm saying? If y'all know anybody that, you know, barbershop, hair salon, chicken shack, you know, a place you, you see that music or some type of music, it could be sold into that type of setting. You feel what I'm saying? And as we move forward, uh... Just to talk about one more thing, too, because, it, it, and this is real quick, too, and this is really easy, too. <clears throat> like I said, for the most part, we're doing the work on our own. And this and this is the next, I, I can't even say this is a blueprint, but it's just information that we need to know. So, basically, uh, you know, you know pe people, people, places, and companies to call. You feel what I'm saying? That's what the name of this list is right here. People, places, and companies to call. And the first person you want to call is your lawyer. You have to have a lawyer on deck. That's the first thing you need in this game or in life in general at this point. You know what I mean? Because when you know you get into trouble or something arises that you can't legally handle it on your own, you're going to need a lawyer for that. So now with that being said, uh, no, nah, uh, they might have this in Africa, uh, Isaac, but, uh, hold on a second, I'm about to show it to you. Do -do -do. Do -do 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 -do. hold on one second. Okay, boom. Let me see, make sure I ain't no information showing on here real quick. Okay, boom. This is legal shield right here. Legal shield. So, you know, is uh legal shield is pretty much prepaid lawyer services. So, like I got a actually a couple cases open right now where I'm I'm about to sue the shit out of a whole bunch of fucking people right now. Insurance companies, they about to get it, you know what I'm saying? Cuz evidence is on my side, but you know, they know I'm right, so that's why they're trying to close my shit out, but my hopefully my lawyer doing what the fuck they doing. And I'm not saying, you know, legal shield is the only means, but 
you know, most of us, we're fucking poor. You just keep it real. So Legal Shield is a prepaid lawyer service. It's like a Spotify subscription. So you figure for $25 a month, you could have a legal lawyer. A real lawyer represents you and tell you legal information that's vital to you. So, you know, I probably won't do it this week, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm focusing on that Rock Kim concert and getting my ship, you know, getting the CDs back out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, this is day one, Thursday for me. You know what I'm saying? Two years later. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I sold a bunch of CDs in between time, but I ain't selling them like I was prior to me getting sick. You know what I'm saying? And going through my own woes of having to stop the business, go back to work. But I'm glad all of it happened through the grace of God. Praise up. You know what I'm saying? Because I wound up, you know, getting a vehicle because of it. You know what I'm saying? It gave me time to build the website. You know what I'm saying? Fuck COVID. I ain't thanking God for that. But you know what I mean? I lost a family member. A lot of people lost a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? And this government, y'all ain't shit for putting, spreading the fucking nasty ass diseases and shit. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> nasty as fuck for that shit. You know what I mean? But anyway. Yo, spread this information out, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to hold y'all too much longer because, you know, I know y'all got shit to do too. And, you know, I'll be here talking to you all night about every fucking thing. But, you know, we try to save some of this information for another show. And, you know, again, we're trying to go, we're going to try to, you know, well, it's official because this is, this is day one in the books. We're going live every Monday between 10 and 12. You know, Negro time. You know what I'm saying? I might say, you know, it's 10 o'clock, but, you know, I'm, Shit happens, you know what I'm saying? Might have got high or something and shit like that off the weed and forgot. So I'll be back at 11, 11, 30, you know what I'm saying? But just between 10 and 12, expect this shit every Monday, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, you know, go back to the blueprint. Oh, matter of fact, let me go back to the, the people and places to call. Because we was talking about that, not to lose focus. First person you want to call is your lawyer. Get a lawyer on deck. That's the whole point of the legal shield or whatever the case be. If you need help with that, give me a call. I'll... I'll Put you down with the uh, actual agent or whatever the case be. Now, these other companies that I got here, you know what I mean? These companies are pretty much sponsors or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Or investors into this shit, you feel what I'm saying? And I, I don't want to spill too much, too many beans, but I'm, but I'm going to say this because a, a lot of this shit that I want to say right now is kind of pro uh, pro uh, proprietary to me in my mind. It's not new, but it's just proprietary to me on how I can manipulate this shit. You feel what I'm saying? And get these companies on board with everything I just fucking said. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't want to talk too much about that. But what I am going to say again, you know, uh, uh, people, places, and companies to call. First person you want to call is your fucking lawyer. Keep a lawyer on retainer. Very important. Like like the other day, daggone police. And, yo, she was fine, too. I should have got her number, but I, I was just mad she gave me a ticket. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I did have a lavish, so she going to remember me. But anyway, got a ticket the other day for whatever the reason. And I was going to dump it on my lawyer, but I'm, I ain't going to waste my lawyer time with that. But that's, that's what's dope about having a lawyer. Yo, yo, lawyer, son, I got this ticket, yo. You know what I'm saying? It ain't one my fault, none of that shit. And even if it was your fault, give it to your lawyer. But I ain't even going to waste my lawyer time because I want to go to court and rip, rip somebody. You know how I do. I'm ready to rip your ass verbally, you know what I'm saying, and let them have it. You know, just to give you another example of how I'll be doing this shit. While well, I'm at over here in, in Essex County, you know what I'm saying? You know how many times I had the police run down on me? All because, well, where we at? You know, I'm selling CDs or whatever the case be. So they're trying to put me in with the bootleg crowd. But hold up, bitch, uh, overseer. I got a degree in audio engineering and I'm a DJ technically by trade. I've been doing it probably longer than your ass been a cop. So don't tell me I can't sell no fucking CDs. No artist in history needed a permit or some type of peddling license to go fucking sell their craft. So if you got these governments out here and these local townships and police, they harassing you because you selling your fucking craft. Man, if you don't leave me the fuck alone. I'm going to have your badge. I'm going to sue the shit out you. This town be mine. Stop fucking with me, yo. You feel what I'm saying? Because I got every right to be out here from a civil rights perspective, depending on your country, to be an entrepreneur. If you don't want to give me a license, fine. Even if I got to pay for one, fine. You're not going to stop what I'm doing. And I've shown 
my township and the people, these, these the authority figures, that shit. To the point I had to go in there one day and tell them, if you don't stop fucking with me and having your fucking police come down on me all for selling some of those CDs and y'all don't even fucking know me. You don't even ask me every time you give me a ticket for selling CDs. Why the fuck you selling CDs? I tell you, bitch, I'm a fucking musician. I'm a DJ. I can't walk out. I told the judge one day. I can't walk out this courtroom without somebody saying, yo, let me get a CD sign. Yo, DJ sign. Yo, bro, yo. Where you been, son? I ain't saying I'm famous, but shit, I'm, I'm, I am locally. You know what I'm saying? I walk around town, motherfuckers be like, yo, what's up? I'll I be on the phone with some certain people long distance, and, I, and if I'm outside, I got to save myself to a thousand motherfuckers. They be like, damn, bro, you forget I'm on the phone? Nah, it's just that I'm walking through the block. By the time I go around the corner and just come back around the corner to my house, I don't say what's up to 30 people. You feel what I'm saying? So I ain't saying I'm so, no, nobody. I'm just saying I'm somebody in my hood. You know what I mean? So you got these overseers that just want to fuck with you because they, they write so many rules and regulations to ostracize you from coming up and being better than what you are. The whole purpose of you being poor is to keep you poor. You feel what I'm saying? So again, first person call your lawyer. Now these other companies up here again, like boom, the SBA, Small Business Administration, .gov, they do obviously business loans. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm not going to say we don't need them, but if we get enough of us, we really wouldn't need them at the end of the day. But, you know, if we want to jump this shit off a particular way, we need that capital. It's just really that simple. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. The other company, like I said, you know, with Prudential, you know, that's the investment firm or whatever investment company. Hopefully they can set up portfolios for these artists so that when we dump that 25 cent into the kitty or whatever the case be, you know, they'll you know, actually be a better help versus us trying to set up some whole separate infrastructure. See what I'm saying? It ain't about us doing all the work either. You know, there's companies that's been in the mix and been doing the game for a while, and I'm only using Prudential as an example. I might not even fuck with them. You feel what I'm saying? But it is what it is, though. You know what I mean? It's just an example, and just see what other companies I got on here. Yeah, I put everything down here, you know. Holler at the Chicken Shack dude. You know, clothing stores, barbershop, hair salons. Go talk to them. Show them this video. Ask them if they, are they interested in being their own Sam Goody. You feel what I'm saying? Their own whiz. So they can start generating money. Because you got to remember one thing. A lot of those businesses, me and myself, didn't get any triple P money. PPPE money. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, like a lot of people are, you know, that was on unemployment. Or, you know, didn't get their unemployment to this day. There's a lot of people that have been working full-time jobs, 10, 20, 30 years, and get no uh, unemployment or whatever. I went back to work for six, seven, eight, eight months in 2019 and got every bit of unemployment, even though I was already on it because I had lost that job at the end of 2019. And then coming into 2020 when my unemployment ended at the top of March 2020, right before the lockdown, I ain't had no more income coming in. You know what I'm saying? My income is was behind me. You feel what I'm saying? So, luckily, I was already in the unemployment system from losing my job. You know what I mean? They just put me right back in the mix. So, once I got my little bit of slice of the pie, or whatever the case be, I just turned up on the shit. So, now now I'm here. And now, as you know, for those that are looking again, you know what I'm saying? The money's out there, man. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'll let y'all know how I did on Thursday or whatever the case be. As far as what I make, you know what I'm saying? And I got like two suitcases full of CDs right now, ready to go. And I'm about to go in there and make another suitcase worth of this shit. And had three, three, four suitcases out that bitch. And I'm about to go probably knock these bitches off at 50 cent a pop. Why? Because I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm basically just promoting myself, you know what I'm saying? All over again. You know, like I said, I ain't been out in a while. But even with that being said, that don't mean nothing. Because... I got a thousand contact, custom, customer contacts right here in my phone. I could text every last one and call every last one like, yo, I'm doing a special CD's 50 cent. A word, I'm on my way. But 
lot of them, you know, don't want to buy CDs anymore for whatever the reason, or don't got time, or they using COVID as an excuse, or whatever the fucking reason is nowadays, you know what I'm saying? They ain't got a DVD player, yada, 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 all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? So, this is why we need these other mediums, or physical mediums, you know, flash drive, and back to the, um, the digital space real quick before we hang up. Back to the digital space, reason why I'm saying that we need to come together and those, for at least those, again, that are watching this video or going to watch this video in the future, you know, DM me, call me, whatever the case be. You know, if you're an IT guy, you know, you're not a uh, write code and build software and all that other shit, call me. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very cheap to build our own fucking Spotify Netflix. It's very cheap. I looked into the shit. It's, it's really easy, man. So if we put our money together, and, and, and it don't matter whose house this shit is being housed at. As long as we get it. You feel what I'm saying? And that way, that will help us out in the long run. And in turn, will help the next artist out in the long run. You know, help them get it. You ain't got to worry about, you know, if the government going to fucking create the right law that's going to benefit us, the artists, versus them being lobbied by these labels and getting paid off by the labels. Hush money. It's just what it is. If they're going to do the right fucking thing or not. Ain't we tired of these waiting on these jokers to do the right thing? Feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'm going to end it right here, whatever the case be. Appreciate those chimed in on whatever the case be. And, you know, I don't know if anybody, y'all got any uh, questions you want to write them down in a uh, comment before I hang up on this live or whatever the case be. And I'm trying to think. Did I think of everything? Like I said, it's a lot of information right now, man. It's a lot of information, man. A lot of information, fam. You know, and like you know, this is just day one of the video, or whatever the case be, or day one of this, this, this shit that we're going to go through. You know what I'm saying? Together, because you can't do this shit on your own. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me. Can't do it on your own, man. You know what I'm saying? Is it is it logical? One. And it's impossible too. You know what I'm saying? Illogical for, to try to, to, to think about doing it on your own. And it's impossible. Why? Because your ass ain't got no infrastructure. <laughs> we ain't got no capital. We ain't got none of that shit. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, basically we could try to, you know, build it up or whatever the case be on our own. I think I think it's possible because I've gotten this far on my own. So if I imagine if I had one more me, two more me, ten of me's, a hundred of me. I wouldn't be having this conversation, you feel what I'm saying, on that note. But, you know, just trying to think. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Something else I wanted to talk about, too. Uh, let me run down on my notes again real quick. Okay. Um, I have yet to do it. <clears throat> I have yet to do it. And not because I said I, I don't see a need to do it yet, but for those, you know, sh sh shout shout out to uh, my homie Karev at Heritage Hip Hop, you know, right there. I uh, know I got the little scribble scrabble, but look up Ryan Leslie Superphone, Ryan Leslie Superphone. Write that down. Ryan Leslie is you know the super producer. Ryan Leslie, you know who Ryan Leslie is. Don't uh, hang on. I was about to start singing, you know, some of his songs, but shit, I can't sing. I don't want to fuck y'all ears up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but look up Ryan Leslie Superphone and look up, like, you know, some of these email type uh, companies where you can send, send mass emails out and shit like that. But look up Ryan Leslie Superphone where you could, you know, stay in contact with your customers. I'm going to be looking into that shit, but I'm not really ready, ready yet because, like I said, my whole objective is, again, it's just to start getting these shits out in the masses, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And no, uh, with that being said, too, matter of fact, there's something to talk about. So, like, boom. Say for instance, you Isaac or you know, you know E, y'all need some CDs pressed up or whatever the case be. You feel what I'm saying? That ain't got nothing to do with what it is I'm even talking about. You know what I mean? Holler at me on that. But like, as far as us moving forward, as far as getting money collectively off of this shit, basically, I'm only charging y'all. What it is I, you know, I get the materials for. It's pretty much $25 for 100 Excuse me. We'll work out later, you know, if we got to dump money in together. Matter of fact, with that being said, 
if anybody knows a graphic designer. If you know a graphic designer, you're a graphic designer, holla at me. I definitely got some fucking work for you right now. So, again, you know, most of the work has already been done. We just need to take the content we got, the music, the videos, whatever it is we're doing, and just put it to this fucking medium. And, and take your ass outside. Yo, I got this shit for a dollar, son. Go step to these bodegas, these stores. Tell them you got this shit. We selling it in bulk. We'll give them... We'll give them a hundred for fucking fifty dollars, just to put it in the store, and start generating not just some income, but obviously, you know, consumers going to your YouTube page and all that other shit. You feel what I'm saying? Your Facebook page, you obviously didn't. You know, it's all about numbers. It's all about who got the most YouTube or whatever. But I don't look at that shit as anything because I already know this industry or the record labels got control of the fucking digital, the streaming. I already know that shit. You feel what I'm saying? It ain't no money again. YouTube paying you 0 0.00006 cent on a dollar, on, on excuse me, on a penny. Uh, what what Spotify pay you? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't call me on a penny or the, or the actual money, but I know it's like um, I think for every million streams, you get like eight thousand dollars or something like that for Spotify, but. And, and matter of fact, that back to, that's back to what you said, Isaac, that, you know, you know these, these artists got the machine working behind them. So to give you an example of that, Spotify, right, they pay out 70 so, 70 so percent to the artists or whatever the case be. But hold up a minute. It's only the top 10 earning artists that get that 70 percent. So who the top 10 earning artists? The baby, little baby, uh, Drake, you know, fucking uh, Taylor Swift, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ariana Grande, whoever's fucking hot or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, uh, Cardi B, you know what I'm saying? Whoever the fuck is hot right now and getting the most fucking plays because the labels are connected to the streaming services. They fucking network with each other to ostracize us, the little guy. Like I said, you know, we all heard that rant T-Pain was ranting about. Oh, you know, y'all all doing the same music. Ain't no fire out here. But hold up a minute, T-Pain. You in a position, bro. You it's for, If 40,000 songs come out a month, 40,000 songs come out a month. You mean to tell me you can't find one fucking song, T-Pain? To, 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 to blow that artist up with, 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 with your name behind it? I think you full of shit, son. You know what I'm saying? I like you as an artist, but you're full of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I don't understand how none of these other musicians that, you know, y'all call yourself musicians, ain't nobody even fucking talking about this shit. It's like y'all, it's like y'all, you know, I know you're not scared of these motherfuckers. You don't even know T-Pain from a can of paint. So why allow him to fucking even say some shit like that? You know what I mean? Make no motherfucking sense, bro. Remember, somebody put T-Pain on. You know what I'm saying? Somebody gave him a shot. Who giving you your shot? Nobody. You know what I mean? So, I guess with that being said, that's the end of this first uh, show in the books, or whatever the case may be. You know, how to make money off your uh, talent. That's the name of the series, I guess, man. How to make money off your talent. And like I said, you know, moving forward, you know what I mean? It ain't going to be just, you know, music, music, music. It's going to be a lot of politics shit. You know, a lot of hard ass fucking shit. You know, a lot of hard shit that you're going to have to, hard, you know, hear. You're going to have to do the work, man, in order to reap the benefit of the shit. And like I said, you know, let's get this ball rolling right now. You know what I'm saying? Isaac, if you got material, which I know you do, you know, I ain't asking for nothing other than the cost it takes me to get 100 joints going. It's like $25, $30 or whatever the case be. You know what I'm saying? To go get some blanks. I got the machinery already to rip it up. Send me the material. And I'm sending it, I'm sending it right back to you. Like this. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. And, and you know... Obviously, I'm, I'm going to keep 20, 30 of them CDs, not to make money just on my side, you know what I mean? Because it, it has nothing to do with me charging anybody. It's so I could promote you here in New Jersey. Just as well, you could be promoting my man E over in Africa. And E could be promoting me wherever he's at in New Jersey. You feel what I'm saying? If one hand wash the other, both hands wash the face. You feel what I'm saying? One hand wash the other, both hands wash the face. If we wash each other's 
back and have each other's back, the money going to come in, man. We, we shouldn't be struggling, man. We all got too much talent out here. Everybody else getting paid off our, our talent, off their talent. Why ain't we? And I agree with you. What you say, Isaac? We ain't got the machine behind us. We just, we just gonna have to be the Terminator now. We gonna have to terminate these other motherfuckers and become our own machine, bro. You feel what I'm saying? So with that being said, appreciate y'all. One love. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, before we go out, let's go out with a song. Let's go out with this new single that I'm creating. Hopefully, you know, nobody, the neighbors don't complain with the noise and shit. Let's listen to this shit. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact. Bring y'all in a little closer so I ain't got to blast it. You feel what I'm saying? Do, 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 Yeah, the name of this joint is called Raw Sushi, yo. Raw Sushi. <laughs> Raw Sushi. Premiere, this is the first time you hearing this. too much of that. You know, you're going to have to wait for that single to drop. <laughs> I'll let your boy, man. <laughs> 